Hello, everyone. Happy hump day. That's right. Midweek madness. We're back again. In fact, not only are we back, this is our one month anniversary from switching over to Twitch. It's kind of a big deal. I wouldn't have even recognized it, except we have a bunch of resubs that we need to call out. Ghost Rider in with their tier one. Draken's Haven with their Twitch Prime. Dave Hamer. Yep, there we go. That's how you started off. Dave Hammer has resubscribed at the tier two level. Dave, thank you. Calero is also in with their Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and kick that roll cow. Roll. Wow. I promise you I've had my tea today. Starting off at the beginning, hello and welcome back to the Queen. Calero81, hello and happy Wednesday. Wit is in the house. Draken's Haven that has done some phenomenal, phenomenal works. Cthulhu, resubbing at the tier one. Thank you very much. Zoldan. Orlamu, Unfocused, Kamori, Happy Wednesday, Vet, hello. Vet actually has the day off tomorrow. Happy for you, Vet. Cocky Chick, hello. Brian Matt, 42, who's just here for the semi weekly duplicate abuse. There is no duplicate abuse on this channel. You may have stumbled onto the wrong part of the internet. All we do is save dupes around here. <laughs> Ghost Rider, hello. Ewish83, morning, afternoon, evening, all indeed. Dave Hammer's got a birthday coming up on Friday. Let's see some birthday wishes for Dave in the chat. I think the little party hat works well for that one, huh? New follow, Chaya011, Calero notices the new poster in back. I ordered it some time ago. Looks beautiful. I think it's a great piece. Adds to the uh, flavor of the channel. Today, we're going to take a moment and talk about embracing the suck, right? There's the shirt. There's the shirt I'm wearing today. Patwig4711, first time chatter, welcome. And hello. Rob Roy wants to know the name of the plant. That is a dwarf jade. Incidentally named the very creative jade bonsai tree. But we're talking about embracing the suck a little bit. And it has to do with your quit factor. So whether we like to admit it, or not, humans are predispositioned to be lazy. We are genetically engineered to be lazy. Well, Echo, that doesn't make sense. Actually, I think it does. I think that little gene of ours that says, hey, take the easiest way, actually fuels innovation. And we can go on that for a long time, which we won't, but... Because human beings want to do something the easiest way, the one that exerts the less effort, it causes us to continue to innovate, which then causes society to improve, medicine, math, sciences, etc., etc. Max even says, laziness is the mother of innovation. I like it. But what is the downfall of that? The downfall of that is quit. It's when people quit that we fail. And if you were, if you follow me over on Twitter, which let's be honest, most of you do not, um, you'll see that one of the things I say is that failing is not, I, I'm going to butcher the quote just because that's what I do around here. Um, you only learn when you fail, basically. You have to keep going to be able to succeed. But because humans are, have this predisposition to laziness, 
that makes hard work even more valuable because it allows you to rise to the top just like cream. So I invite you the next time that you were about to put the towel in. Now, obviously, you don't push yourself past where you're supposed to go. But consider what your future self would want you to do. Consider what future you would be thankful for that past you kept pushing. For me, I am reminded on this one month anniversary here on Twitch. I started on Twitch in 2017. Didn't quit. Took some time off here and there. Tried the YouTube thing. And it's been very successful for us. It has actually grown our audience here on Twitch. So that's today's theme. It's not quit. When the going gets tough, embrace the suck. Thank you all for coming to my TED Talk. Let's get doing it. What button do you hit, Echo? This button. All right. Let's look at the uh, the sort of state of affairs here in Duptopia. Oh, I love just coming over to this colony. It looks so nice. We did end up redoing all the paintings. Why? I don't remember. But we did. Oh, that's right, because we built them out of copper ore to gain back some of our our gold. Because we learned that both the copper and the gold amalgam canvases give the same decor bonus. It's kind of cool. You can see plus 10% decor here. And the gold has plus 10% decor. Very neat. All right. Bedrooms are going well. We're starting to get some suits in. Once we have some more reed fiber, right now we're sitting at 17 units, but that's only because... I well, no, because all these have had their reed fiber delivered. So we might have to get some more suits going. Oh, this beautiful. Let's do a decor bomb, shall we? Boom! How do you like me now? No video. Ooh! No video. Hold on. What did I do? <laughs> uh, how long did I miss this? It's because we changed things up from last week. If you remember, we had to switch some things up because of Farthest Frontier, which that's a funny story too. Almost there! You know, it really wouldn't be my channel, right? Without these sort of headaches. Highborn Jace, first time chatter, he's like, man, I came over from YouTube for this. Welcome. <laughs> so, the funny story being is that uh, on the stream last week, I realized what it was. It was actually my fault. It wasn't Farthest Frontiers. Well, it could have been a little bit of it being unoptimized. It's because I was accidentally streaming in 1440. Oops. Oops. That's not what we wanted. So yeah. It was definitely me. Alright. We're good now. Huh. Ha ha. Oh man. Why is it is it warm in here or is it just me? All right, we also have a printing pop. Remember, we're going to stick at 16 for a little while until we hit some other planetoids. That is definitely what we're going to do. But for those of you that want to engage in the renames, um, in-game renames are active. In-game names are not. Why does it have a little pause button by it? Mods, can you check to make sure in-game renames are good? Pause redemptions. Oh, that's because I messed up. Never mind. <laughs> All right, here we go. I paused the wrong ones. Yeah, so you don't you don't spend your your echoes for in-game renames, but if you want to steal somebody's name, 
You can do that with the in-game rename. Oh, Calero81 already dropping one down. Let's go and check the sprinting pod while they just tell me what they want to rename. Oh, slug eggs. Let's grab the slug eggs. I don't know where we saw them. Oh, we already have some. Oh, this is four slug eggs. We're going to be playing with those when those patch hit. I want my title back. Dang it. Where are you? Queen Calero. Queen Calero. Way to go, saving up all those points. I told you I would have done that for... Well, no, that's right. Because somebody else made you change it, so I had to honor it. Highborn Jace! With the Twitch Prime. Thank you. Of all the places to spend a Twitch Prime. So, man, I, lo I love seeing the Twitch Primes. Because it's like... You only get one of them. Alright, what else is going on? We have 150,000 calories. We're doing good there. What are we working on over here? Okay, we're taking all the eggshell to lime. Yes, fossil to lime. Salt. The table salt, which also gives us more sand, which is beautiful. Um, it looks like we have 1,200 kilos worth of fossil to destroy. Wit says let's do a skill check. I think that's a good idea. Um, we have not done one in a minute. I mean, we're sitting at monstrous amounts of morale already. We don't want to go too high, but uh, I don't see a reason why Burt Maxwell can't get demolition. Beautiful. Chef Vet. Oh, maybe some improved strength and plumbing. Of course, they're already in grilling and mechatronics engineering. We'll leave them where they are. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I appreciate it, Highborn. Thank you. Ernie, the Dupes Workers Union leader. They do have an interest in, in suit sustainability, so I say we put them into there for the increased athletics. Yeah, let's do that. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider actually likes research. This might not be a bad idea to have a couple of extra researchers around. 14's probably plenty. Let's go into priorities to make sure... Ghost Rider can also do research. It won't be their priority, but they'll be able to do it. Back into skills. Jelly! Uh, Jelly is our big farmer and mechatronics engineer, because, you know, why not? They also want some suit sustainability, so let's do that. Brings him up to 16. I kind of want to leave it 15 and lower, but we'll keep an eye on it. Komori. Kamori can also be a mechatronics engineer and a digger builder. I mean, this is... Is there anything Kamori's not good at? Wow, look at that. Kamori 2. 2.0, that is. Uh, what were we doing with Kamori 2.0? Maybe some carry. I think carry works there. Wit! With the 10,000 puntos! Meep only has one point. Meep was gonna be... Meep and Gull was gonna be our first rocket dupe. I think we'll go into carry. I think that's a good start. Fangirl asks, what's the skills required to morale available ratio to give max happiness bonus? Like, how many skills can a dupe have while still getting the buff? I don't remember what that buff is called. We'll go into that in a second. Uh, maybe one thing that would helpfully to remind is that every single point here costs one morale, right? Over here, it's three. You can see it changing over here. And then over here, it costs six. At the four tier level, it costs 10 morale. Rename Komori 2.0 to DWU Researcher Wit. <laughs> it might be too long. But we'll try. Is Komori around? There's Komori. So look at Komori with the sad eyes. 
DWU Researcher Wit. It works. I think that's the first hostile takeover we've had. Very nice. But Kamori's been here for every single stream, I believe. So uh, I don't think you're going to be able to <laughs> keep that one for very long. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. Yeah, but so and then when you get when you pick a trait that they're interested in, you get one back. So while these cost three, it would only cost two overall here. But we'll get into that morale bonus there. Kaji Saga with the two months. Thank you very much. All right, Nave, Nadev Ed. Hmm. I guess we could use some more critter ranching. I think it's good to have that sort of mixed up. That works. Nat. Oh, Nat could also be a researcher. I don't know what we're going to do with gnats. It makes sense to do some crop tending and improved farming. We already have the carry. I don't know. We're going to save the points here. Queen Calero right now does the plumbing and the artwork. They also like digging. They have a 50 morale. 50! Highborn J says, I still don't know how you did the 50 dupe challenge. Look, <laughs> I thought we were going to have dupes die. I honestly, honestly did. That might be a good stream idea to do that again as well. All right, Queen Calera can also do some digging. The Doctor. Another science expert. We'll put them in the exosuit training there. And then improved carry too. Travis. Travis has seven skill points, but they're not interested in anything else. So I think we go into the suit sustainability training. We do need to get suits online. Maybe we'll just go straight into exosuits. And that's probably all that Travis will need for now. Union Buster Mutt! Uh, improved carry. I kind of want to do suit sustainability training, but they're already kind of maxed until we re uh, skill them. Unfocus is also a little light on the skills. I think we could do more strength or just straight into athletics. I think we go straight into athletics and then we'll add the strength there. Okay. That's enough of the sort of uh, checking up on it. But let's check out... I can't remember who asked the question. But we're going to look at it anyways. Uh, where are we? Morale, right here. So when you see... They are actually don't have the bonus. Good meal, great hall, showered, washroom, duplicate. Interesting skills. I think what we're talking about is their... Okay, right here. For instance, when they're have... When they're very happy, in other words, their morale, they have high morale, they'll get spark... Like, this dupe will get Sparkle Streaker. Thank you, Calero. HP Fangirl asked the question about the morale bonus stuff. So it's their... I can't remember it either now. So that's what kind of helps. And the more people that you have doing their positive traits, the even better. In fact, next time a um, a gate opens, we'll be able, I'll be able to tell you. It's like overjoyed response or something. I, I don't... I can't remember. We're doing so good in this colony. It's kind of funny. But I do think it's probably time to close it in. Even though we are doing really well with temps, we wouldn't necessarily have to. We can just continue working without suits. But I told myself 
I don't want to mess with anything. I just want to get in suits. I want to play somewhat standard so we don't have to worry about it. Are you able to make some make some dupe overalls? Unfocused. If you want dupe overalls, we will make some dupe overalls. There's one there. We need one snazzy suit for that to work. Beautiful. All right. Oh, we still have some work to do in here. I feel like we could have put some more morale producing effects. Right. Look at. Oh, no. We were going to put more pictures here. In fact, we were going to put portraits. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is where it's at. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Dupes will be working on that, I think. All right, chat, what do we do? You want to seal it in? I think we seal it in. I'm just not sure where. Because we could seal it. This is one giant run, which is beautiful to have. But you typically don't want that in your base, which would mean we'd want to seal it like on this level right here. That becomes an issue because in late game, when we start throwing in transit tubes, we're not going to have a lot of room here. It also becomes an issue because, you know, of this. And where would we do it? Would we do it maybe down here? Can you add more morale to the research area? We could. But remember, this morale area, this thing's not going to be around for very long. I say very long, but... You know what I'm talking about. The... Do you... Okay, so we do have some room. So I'm going to do that, Zoldan. Because you can see, for instance, this dupe here, the Doctor. Last cycle decor. It was only nice. And it goes higher than that. Last cycle's decor, charming for plus nine. So you kind of want everywhere to be as good as possible. So I think we can start off... Maybe we're not going to be spending any of our... I don't think we got diamond here, did we? I don't think so. We don't have arrow pots anyways. Uh, I guess this is a good spot here. And maybe like this. And then throw in some crown molding. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get our inner Bob Ross on. I oh, can't go right over the... That's okay. Can, can't build here. At least it's a little something something, right? Alright, so let's start bricking us in. We'll do this one, say, last. Actually, no, because the dupes can still get out, right? They can still come down there, so it doesn't matter. But we do want to deconstruct the buildings and get rid of these ladders right here. Two by two over the basic research station and a Oh, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's do that. This was fine here, but it also varies it up. Oh, beautiful. I was really disappointed in this the drywall. It should have a decor bonus. Because it does make everything look better, and the fact that the pipes are not behind the drywall really bothers me. Alright, so where are we going to exit out? It's not going to be here. That's going to be need to be deleted. This is all going to have to get closed up. So let's get these removed. We could even go low. How low can you go? And then maybe we can just make our own little exit. Like right here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll start... So they'll exit at the bottom of the base. So we'll make this the solid bottom. Or do we just encapsulate this whole area? That way... This is in our base.
That's something interesting. Because sometimes it's handy to send them without suits. No, I think we're overcomplicating it. You're overcomplicating it, Marge. All right, let's get our... Are we going to do sandstone or igneous rock? Sandstone. We still have plenty of sandstone, right? Yep, we'll just go straight up. Like this. Oh, we're going to have to get rid of these two. And this is also going to have to... It's going to be a little funky. Like this. Ew, this is so ugly. Oh, it's so ugly. Make it stop. All right, it's a little cattywampus. Maybe... Yeah, we don't do this, right? We just go straight down. Yeah. Yeah. Bert and Ernie should definitely live together. That, that to me would make me kind of happy. We could assign them. Yeah, we need to do that. Put Bert and Ernie next to each other. They were always roommates. And we could even get more decor in here. So let's do that. <laughs> oh yes, this is good. Don't be sorry, Wit. Don't ever be sorry. Sleep's more important than my stream. But Bert and Ernie are going to have the best pad. Okay? So this is going to be Bert. This will be Ernie. Where's Ernie? Ernie, Ernie, Ernie. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Now we can put a nice big statue in here, too. Furniture. A large sculpting block. Made out of granite, of course. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Bunk beds is, what, under rocketry? No, I guess it's still under furniture. I don't think we've researched it yet. The ladder beds? That would have been cute, too. I do know that there is a mod called Bunk Beds. I don't know if it's called Bunk Beds, let me say that. It it actually just gives you bunk beds. It's actually, the art's pretty cool, too. Why aren't they doing this yet? I guess probably Calero's just a little busy. All right, so how far are we going to bring this down? Maybe we should have pushed this over. We could have, yep. It would, it'd be more, more better. Oh, actually, no, it wouldn't because what's the room cap on this? This room size is 111. Max is 120. So we have room for nine. We could do this, at least. I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. No. Because we want to add one more. We want to add one more shower. And then cap it off. Look, I'm indecisive today, okay? We're just going to have to deal with it. This is going to be our hospital one day. I don't know what this is going to be. And then this will be our floor. Which means we're going to have to remove a li Actually, we don't. We're going to leave the abyssalite there. We'll have to clean up some spots. Like this. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And then we can just come straight down here. I think it's great. That will need to get removed. Actually, we want to remove all this junk first. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. And then we're going to need some more down here. Uh, somebody kill that, please. And we'll just take it straight over. Straight up. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. 
Okay. This is gonna be a little bit of pain. But we will be fine. All right. Beautiful. Let's go to times two speed and let them work. Let them work! Oh, the T is just hitting the spot today. And I think we will go to the very bottom. Which means it would probably be helpful to have... a nice fire pole in here, too. Is this row right here all good? It is. Uh, anything here? No, we can delete it. Delete it. Delete it. Yeah, I knew that was about to happen. We'll put a nice fire pole in here. That way they can get down to the spot as quick as possible. Beautiful. I look awesome in overalls, just saying. It's not done yet. Yep, we still have it, uh, we still have it running. We're actually, we must be a little behind on the, the tasks. Ooh, why are those all nines? Let's fix that, shall we? And this should be a four. Beautiful. This is just a work of art. Our oxygen is coming out at eight degrees. It's quickly rising, though, because it is warmer here. But it's good, because by the time it gets up here, it'll slowly drive all this down. We'll just have to notice when it gets that low. Oh, did we actually fill all the pipes? It's dormant, too. Wit requested a cubist knit sweater as well. Oh, I hate that I missed that. Thank you. Uh, snazzy suit, one. Here we go. Cubist knit. Oh, there it is. You can tell a lot from somebody by the type of clothes they choose to wear. Yeah? Kamori said, while they work, I'll be lazy and grab some tea. Be right back. Ewish83 says, I think you misspelled coffee, Kamori. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Nice little selection. Absolutely beautiful picture. A masterpiece of some meal lice. Pickled meal, actually. Oh, let's watch people go potties together. Absolutely. Almost done here, so we'll be able to fix that. Now we can put in a nice, beautiful fire pole. Out of copper. Still 10% decor bonus. Of course, I don't think... Ah, now, I wonder what this does. So, the fire pole is minus 5 decor. So, does the 10% decor bonus mean it's going to be 4.5? I hope so. Uh, no, we don't need those there. We need some standard like this. Oh, beautiful. That needs to be dug up. Alright, how are we doing here? How are we doing? Dig it out. Dig it real good. Dun 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 You're welcome. You're welcome! I like that we're leaving this abyss light here. I think that's gonna look great. Uh-oh. Ceiling collapse. Danger, Will Robinson! Okay, this is good, so we can actually... Will it allow me? No, of course not. But we can go to buildings only, and remove them. Uh, this is an issue. Hmm. This isn't good. This water is at 40, 50 C. It's because we're only creating steel again. We have to separate these this game. Let's do some more gold. We don't have a lot. But we need some more cool water. Uh, 
What is this tank at? 23. It's just this tank that hasn't had any chill. So it should help once this gets going. We'll turn iron to steel off for a minute. We are already up to two tons of steel. I mean, great for us. We can, uh, we can even let the lime build for a little while. Because we don't have any immediate needs for steel. Too hot. Alright, now I think we can... Go all the way down. This looks... I mean, I haven't built one of these in a minute. I'm very happy about it. Yes. I don't know what we'll do here. Something nice. And... That will go there, and then we'll just have our beautiful... Manual airlock. Actually, let's go mechanized airlock. I mean, let's... Let's do it. We'll even power it. How's that? Beautiful. Oh, that's... I'm not gonna do that there, because we're actually gonna need another line. Because of all of our suits and everything. So we have to bring in another power line. We haven't done this yet. We need a bigger... We have three. Maybe we throw another one in right here. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna need to eventually seal all these. And can this go up? Yep, we'll go up through here instead. Oh, that's so ugly. Actually, let's just do this. You can't stop me! And then we'll be able to delete these. Okay, but we need to put a priority in this, because that will kill our power. I, I, I'm not a huge fan of these, but right now we don't have enough access to put our giant spine in. We'll eventually do that. And I think we're heading closer and closer to that, because once we're in suits, we can gut just about everything. We need to build our temperature control system a little bit better. This is now at 37. The water in here is at 23, though. So it is driving it down. Okay. Agent MCB, welcome back. Here's your coffee. Drinking my tea. Ah. Yeah, I, we need to put our cooling system in. But... Specifically because of this. Because the auction's never gonna be able to chill this out. How did you get over here? It makes me mad when that happens. Come on. Before these guys starve, 5.8, 7, 9. Okay. It's coming back. Beautiful. Another printing pod. We can finally... Yep, overjoyed response. Look at that. Sweetles. Sweetle larvas. I think we'll take some Sweetle eggs. Ooh. We could also take the sweet larva. It'd be quicker. And then we can put a sweet larva over here. <gasps> oh no, chat. Oh, chat. This ain't good. This is not good here. We lost track of this. I, we're redoing this, this stream. I'm, this is... This works for the meantime of warming up your water, but this is not a good system. Nope. Not a good system at all. That water coming in is a little bit colder. And it's only, it's barely too warm. 
right? So we'll give it a second to rehalf or to fix itself. Where are you, little sweetles? Yes. Just need one little sweetle right here. Here. Here, boy. Beautiful. This water's cool. Oh! We were also gonna build our... ...deep freezer. And we could put two thermo aqua tuners in that, and that way we have temperature control for the entire base. That might be a plan. I like that. Oh, we have spiffy overalls right here. Unfocused. Are you gonna come get him now? Come on. Where's unfocused? They are sleeping. I mean, there's something about a meep. In some overalls. Oh, and the cubist knit's done too. Beautiful. All right. We know we're going to put the freezer here. This would actually be good a good spot to. But we're going to have we're going to be running two thermo aqua tuners, which is going to take, yep, even more power. Uh so we'll put two more of these in. Or I'm wondering if it's somehow possible to have two different cooling loops coming through one thermo aqua tuner. I mean, that... That, to me, sounds like a sexy idea. Don't forget to change Wit's hat as well, material science. Oh, thank you. We really are givers around here. Material science... I, it's not called material science. What's it called? Applied science. Boink! There it is. Let's find unfocused, though. I really do. Why aren't you letting me... Unfocused. Oh, look at those spiffy overalls on the Wii! Oh, yes. Unfocused is ready for work. Okay. Can you give Chef Vetty P or v Chef Vet exosuit training? Maybe. I think we just went over these. You're at 12. Okay. They're at 18 now. Uh, what happened to our little critter? It's been trust. They always need to come online. We have plenty of food so we can wait, but... The water should do the trick. It's still 31 because it's not drinking it because it's stifled. So we can do one of these numbers. Oh, and it's picking up all this heat too. Well, you know what that means. When in doubt. Ice place it out. Ice! Plate it out. Where are you, Ice? We don't have ice? What? What? I thought we had some ice storage. Oh, we do. They just can't get to it. Okay. Turn this on sweep only. And open the doors. Beautiful. Where are you? Brine ice? No. Regular ice. 
Yes. Uh, we're gonna start way back here. That should work for a while. Um... Okay. I think we need to get the temperature control system up first. I, that seems to be the more important emergency. So we can actually lock this in like this. That'll be good there. Hmm. And I suppose we'll have to work in through here. Because we don't... First, let's destroy all that chlorine too. We'll start destroying the chlorine, and then the whole system is going to go here. So maybe starting... Oh, I guess we can go as high up as we need, but we want it to be as far down as possible, because we this is the deep freezer. So this could be the steam chamber. It doesn't even need to be that big, right? And we can even incorporate... The Abyssalite. Where is our steam turbine? It'll go right here. Beautiful. Okay. That one's destroyed. There we go. So a, bit, a little micromanagey here to start with. But the end result is going to be... Why are you just standing there? See? See? I don't understand, chat. They have a rec room. Right? They have a rec room. And yet, Union Buster Mutt is chilling out over here. The dupe is trapped. No, they aren't. They are not trapped. Oh. Oh. <gasps> They are trapped. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. I guess that's why. There you go, buddy. Good call. Uh, credit to... I mean, everybody in chat was yelling at me. He's trapped! It's a trap! Um, first time chatter. Neutral LOL? Welcome. I mean, even Neutro said, Hey, he's trapped! Silly streamer. This time, can we build it on the right side? Thank you. I love how Bert just climbed on top of their balloon. Alright, this is good. We're not getting rid of that piece of Abyssalite. So we should probably deconstruct that. That's fine. Alright, now we can get in here and do some more business. Like this. You will need some help, though. That works there. And we'll build this one. Uh, this here, here, here is fine. Um, just temporarily. We can actually destroy this one now. And everybody should be able to get in here. Except I'm about to trap some more dupes. Because it's what we do. The game is not the boss of us. Someone is sick. Burt Maxwell. Food poisoning. He got it from uh, the last union meeting. Ah, this bomb lily is going to be in the way. He got it from the last union meeting. Ernie brought cookies. Got Bert sick. That's exactly what happened. Alright. This is it. This is going to be great. But now... So do we do two Thermo Aqua Tuners? Now these are too cold. I mean, I can't win, right? Hurry up and dig that before it gets too much. Or mop it. Mop it real good! Ha! 
<laughs> First it was a duke in prison, now it's mysterious illness. Hey, what you guys do at your union meetings? That's your business. I smell conspiracy. <laughs> oh, happy Wednesday. Happy, happy Wednesday. Can they not do that? Yep, unreachable. Hmm. How do I do this then? I actually can see, and you can't build over a plant anymore. I guess we're just letting a little bit of chlorine out. Can I get... Or is it unreachable for another reason? Nope, it's just unreachable because they can't corner build. Alright! Do it! Do it large! Oh, that's abyss light. We can't destroy the abyss light! Since we're in here. Just got it. Ooh, this will give us another mirth leaf. Ooh. Hold on. Maybe it'll stay there long enough. Awkward streamer sneeze. Oh, I was hoping the doctor would do it. Nope, there it goes. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm guessing we're going to do two Thermo Aqua Tuners. Because just thinking on top of my head, I cannot think of a way to... I guess you could... You could have two loops separated by valves. Build over plants mod, can we install that? Uh, I'd rather not on that one, because that one changes the core mechanics. And changing core mechanics is... Not something I love doing. Get this all picked up. Uh, I suppose we can get rid of these now, too. Are we stopping anything? No, because they can still get up over here. In fact, we can even deconstruct this. Yep, they'll be able to get over there. <laughs> Send Max to dig it. The chlorine might clean his germs. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, I like it. Alright, we're getting all that picked up. It looks like we're getting caught up on tasks, too, because there's a lot of people doing it. Very nice. Oh my gosh, are we going to be able to get two in here? I don't even think we're going to be able to get two in there. Because of that piece of abyssalite. Nope. Nice try, not today. Steam turbine right there. Yeah, we wouldn't have a spot for the valve. Okay. Yeah, this will be fine. I'll power. Right there. So we're just going to do one thermal aqua tuner. What could we do to separate that one thermo aqua tuner? Ooh. Oh, <gasps> I've got an idea. You could do multiple liquids. If you did multiple liquids, the thermo aqua tuner wouldn't cool liquid A. And then we can send liquid A one way, and liquid B to another. Oh, chat. Have a good one, vet. I mean... I think that's a good idea. It requires some ands. Do we have all that research? 
Oh yeah, we're crushing through research right now. We would need these gates. How would you... It could only be two liquids, because it's going to have to be an and or not. So, let's start with the thermal aqua tuner. Made out of steel, but then we're going to need... Oh, this is going to be difficult. Because you need two temperature control units. Because if one comes in, let's say it's salt water. Okay, if salt water comes in and it's below this temperature, cool it. But you need a separate temperature for the brine or whatever we're going to use to make the deep freezer. I don't think it's doable. But you know what is doable? Putting the thermal regulator in here. And we could just get rid of one piece of abyssalite and stop worrying about it so much. I mean, we're already having the bottom be abyssalite. So... Actually, no. We can still do this. Chat. Man, sometimes I have good ideas. We don't have to only make it two tile high. It can be three tiles high. <laughs> They're talking about stealing each other's dupes in chats. Not gonna spend 10k on that. <laughs> so lucky 88 gifting four tier one subs. They're now at 20! Thank you very much, Salucky. Uh, yes, yes. Yes and yes. Now we'll have room to do both. Absolutely. So now we're gonna put a steel regulator in here. And we'll be able to do this with one power line, too. Stations. What am I looking for? Utilities. Thermal regulator. Boom. <laughs> Had to get back to number one. Oh, man. That's a dangerous leaderboard thing. Big news in the Twitch. For those of you who do not know, they basically came out with some guidance behind gambling using sites that are not based in the U.S. and some other places. Um, so, if you go onto the Twitter, everybody's up in arms, because, you know, everybody has an opinion. But it's funny you say that because... Or it's funny that I... Okay, it's not funny that I said that. But it reminds me of that because, to me, putting leaderboards... ...is also a way to entice people to gamble almost as well, right? Because it's the same sort of dopamine hit that people get. They want to be number one, or the dopamine they have by gifting more and more, which can get people in trouble, which is synonymous with what gambling does. Same sort of thing. Uh, why did we do this? Why, why pray tell is this here like this? I do not know. All right, we have two of these on the ready. This one's going to be used for some bottom half things. This one here is going to go up. What are we going to use? Not iron. That's for sure. Probably copper. It'll be interesting to see what... Um, how Twitch plans to combat that sort of stuff. Because it does look like they're in a season of policy changing. Oh, this is... Oh, this is awkward. That's so many different power runs. This is why the power spine is so much better. Alright, so I guess we're going to have to jump this. Then jump this. Then jump this. It's so ugly, chat. It's so ugly.
of course, we're going to have to... You know what? Let's not do that at all. We can, we're going to have to get this entire power spine back up there anyways to dump off the steel or the steam turbine's power. So we could go up through here, then up, I guess. Ew. All right, here's what we'll do. It took me a second. Nope, I can't go up through there either. I could go up with your ladder system though, right? But there's another power line going up that way. But we can move it. Can you put... Why am I having a, a fuzzy f on this? Can we put this here? Yes, okay. Electricians look away, yeah. This is definitely not our finest power work. That is this one. Oh, It's so bad. Okay, we'll let them get finished up on that. But yeah, we're just going to bring the entire spine up. Up through here. This is kind of the beginning of our spine. Oh, no. You don't want that there, though. The reason why you don't want it there is because it has a massive decor hit. Minus 25 decor, and you don't want them every time they're running on this to do that. So, let's go up through here. Let's throw caution to the wind. Hmm. Alright, we can do this. How do we get in there? We will not be able to get in there. So it's going to have to come over anyway, so we might as well not do that. Chat, this is so ugly. This is definitely temporary, okay? Our dupes don't even want to live here anymore. Oh, I don't want to go through the abyss light! I think we can go like this. It'll still leave this intact. So none of that will break out. And that slime's not being dug. Uh, there is one piece of slime. We can move that. Uh, we'll have to check that. Zoldan's asking if there's any gold because we are hurting on it. Hurting for it, rather. Okay, that's going to go there. Can everybody get there? I think everybody can dig that. We can't do this one unless we do that. Here we go. The world's ugliest power spine. Look, everyone. This is how you don't do it. Uh. I mean, this is fine. Brilliant. Oh, no. Why does it keep wanting me to make power wires out of iron? Stop doing that, game! Alright. They have some stuff to get caught up on. Uh, the second planetoid, Gurgola. There should be. There's some swampy stuff. Normally, it's, uh... Metals. Cobalt. Iron. Wolframite. Lead. No on the gold. Ew. Yeah, this is not great. Yeah, we're going to be hurting on gold, but we'll get more. Okay. How are we doing on temps? We got to make sure we pay attention. It's 3.4. That's a bit low. Let's <laughs> turn on some steel for a little bit. And not forget to turn it off. But eventually it's not even going to be a problem because we're going to be power controlling all this anyways. Yay! A Johnston 78 with her Twitch Prime. Thank you very much.
Printing pod time! Oxalite. Still not in the mood to take a dupe. We did go over to Gorgolo. We had set up a nice little spot. It's just not... We're not concerned necessarily with colonization. We're more concerned about making the best home possible. That's kind of the max morale way. This is good. What is this not doing? Okay, this is fine. In fact... This can just go down. This... And you will eventually feed all of the suits and things. Okay. And then this will get separated here. Beautiful! And... Back up here. Couple of things that we need. First, a gas pipe thermo sensor. On... Yeah, this works. Right? Yep, perfect. And then we need the same thing, but... Liquid pipe thermo sensor here. Let's do the thermo aqua tuner first. Liquid bridge. I kind of would rather it be down here. Just because of the way... Ah. Hmm. Everybody see the problem? You normally want your pipe sensor to be right next to it. It's not a huge deal, especially considering we're not going to be running it too, too, too badly. Yeah, but we can still do this. Okay. It isn't the prettiest, but it'll come in here. Actually, it'll probably come in from over here. Because this is going to be some radiance. And do something like... That. Oh! Oh! My goodness, that is ugly. Make the bad man stop! Liquid pipe thermo sensor right here. Yuck. Alright, that'll be good. Then it's gonna come in like this, and out. This is going to be for the... ...base cooling. And then, let's go ventilation. Oh, uh, this one's always... ...slippy. Always slippy. But, I think... You can't do this. You might be tempted to do this, but you can't. Because you need a little bit of extra flow. You need exactly, like, one pipe full. So I think the best move here is going to be doing this, but then having the ventilation pipe go up and around. Okay. Like this. So it's gonna come straight through here. Beautiful. And then go like this. And where are you going? You're coming straight down here. So we need a hole right here. We actually need two holes. We want to go back in. So, which way is all this heading? This is going up. So maybe here? This is a little further than we were expecting. A little further. But we know it can do it. It just kind of stinks when you have to. Is that an Ani poster behind you? Where did you order it from? A love one? Uh, the clay store. Yes, it is. It just came in. It took forever to come in. And... Delete, delete, delete. 
Delete, delete. Delete. Where is... Oh, uh, this is a hydrogen line? Oh, this is gonna be perfect. <laughs> we'll be able to tap right into the hydrogen line to fill this loop. So now, we actually have the line... ...coming right through here. All insulated. This is where it's going to be nice and chilled. You know what stinks? This isn't going to work. So in order to do the metal tile thing, we would have to put insulation here, here, and here. If we put insulation here, they're going to have to go into this door and get sopping wet every single time. Can I raise this up by one? I don't think I can. The idea is you want the food to be on the metal tile. Let's see. Let's play around with this for a moment. Oh, there went all our carbon dioxide. It doesn't matter. It can go a little higher. But as soon as I put a tile here, it's going to block the vision there. Let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, metal tile. Are we gonna go gold? We've done this before. I always have to redo it. Gold. Steel. Thank you. We don't have aluminum, right? Yeah, no. We're always surprised by this, too. Alright, gold. 60 thermal conductivity with a specific heat capacity of 0.12. Copper, 60 with a .385. Copper is better than gold. You heard it here first, folks. And then steel has a slightly lower thermal conductivity, but a better specific heat capacity. We're going to go with copper. But now, if I put this metal copper tile right here... Excuse me, plug slug. You're not going to want to stand there. Will they still be able to... No. Because we'd have to put an insulated tile here and here. So we're not going to use the metal tile this time. No metal tile for you. It's going to be all like this. I know. I'm not happy about it any more than you are. And now we need that radiant gas steel pipe. It's just going to be one. It's not going to be as efficient, okay? I know. And we can bring this up through here, up through here, and then back. Actually, could we save some pipe run just by having the gas do it? No, the gas one needs to be more efficient. Okay, so that'll be the loop. Not too shabby, but we're not going to be... Someone's going to comment. Why don't you have your food on the metal tile? Echo. And you're going to tell them. We looked at it. We were thinking about it. But in order to make sure that the auto supers could both get in there from our awesome, beautiful, pristine system, it wasn't going to work. This is good here. Uh, we're going to need a vent. Shipping. Conveyor chute. Oh, it doesn't really matter here. Like this. And then we see one rail in there just to make sure the rail is there. So when we decide to build whatever we're going to build, it'll be fine. Actually. Yeah, no, because they need to get in here to do this. <gasps> ideas. I have ideas. 
We could put everything on rails. No. See, we could have a separate uh, auto sweeper. Like, up here. To be able to reach in. I don't think the juice is worth the squeeze. That's good. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, how are you going to make it a vacuum? We're not. We're just going to drop some bleach stone in there. Let the chlorine sit. And then we'll close it in. Uh, temperature shift plate would probably be helpful. Yeah. Temperature shift plate would be helpful. Utilities. Thank you. Uh, we've done this before, too. What is it going to be made out of? I think we're just going to go with copper. We're not going to overthink it. Beautiful. Uh, and then we'll have this ready. Where are you storing? Muckroot and nutrient bars? You can go away. Go away, clown. This is looking somewhat good. We're going to need three liquids in here, and I'm going to have to figure out which one's heavier so we can actually fill this correctly. It's going to be a pain in the butt. We need a vent pipe. Like this. Perfect. And the base cooling can actually start right here. To be honest, it can start and end right there. We don't need the base cooling to be everywhere. Which way is that water going? Coming from here, so it's going up. So there, and then... Say there? Yeah! Is the metal tile only efficient if it's below the gas? No, the reason why you have the metal tile there is that way the foods are sitting on the metal tile. Because debris shares a much closer temperature affinity with what it's sitting on. So it stinks that we're not able to make it happen, but we've done this without the metal tile. The cost that we're going to be paying is the thermal regulator is going to have to run more often. It's not going to be a lot, but it will be something. All right, so now we have room. We can put this here. This can connect. This can connect. Cancel. Hopefully the bleach stone pushes everything out quick enough to where we can insulate it in and not have to worry about it. This is sort of a backwards way of doing it. I've done this before and it kind of works. It's kind of uh, me going with the cheap way out. Bleachstone, we do have bleachstone, right? 373 kilos. Very nice. We only want, let's say, 50 kilos. Come on, dupes. You can do it. Look at unfocused in their spiffy overalls. All right. Get ready. It's going to drop. So we can put this down immediately. There we go. I don't see any gas. Gas. It's carbon dioxide still. There's the chlorine. So this is going to be a chance, right? No, 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 no. Come on. Get it out. The stupid carbon dioxide. No. Oh. Okay. I got a way to fix this. Maybe the carbon dioxide will slip over. Huh? Why don't... Or they steal it. Oh. <laughs> they took... The bleach stone and put it back. 
Oh my goodness. That's funny. All right, it's in there. Okay. I'll turn this one on sweep only two. Nope. Sweep. Thank you. Hello. Sweep. Thank you. Okay. Hurry up. Finish it. Finish it. Now that was pretty cool. Okay. No vacuum needed. Oh, yes. Except now people are going to need their food. So before we get that online, let's put a refrigerator here. Right here. Why is there a power wire sitting in there? Chat. Oh, we'll get it out later. In fact, we can do something like this. And a little storage bin to get junky things out. Uh-oh, rot pile. Hurry up, Chlorine. Fill up. All right, now you want three kilos of... What do we got? What are we cooking here? Barbecue? Gristleberry? Yes. Gristleberry. There you are. And barbecue. Three kilos. Anytime you want. Okay, people have food. And now we can get out the rot pile. Anything organic like rot pile, go grab. We'll put this on a priority of one. So duplicates will take from here very quickly. Whoop, whoop. And then where's this? I know it's in there somewhere. There's some... There's some little nugget of debris. Sandstone. Raw minerals. Grab all the raw minerals out of there. Look at that. Our freezer's not cold. But it's working. Okay. And... Let's set it at one. So they will go clear it up. Thank you. Now let's finish it up over here. This one is going here. This one's going here. Let's get the thermoregulator online. As soon as possible. Because I want to get that freezer frozen. Plummy. Alright, chat. Help me help you not have us to do this six times. It'd be so much easier. Okay, so we know polluted water sits on top of brine. What else can we know? So maybe... Brine? Polluted water, water? We'll have to see. Ooh, printing pod. Copper ore. Yes. Nice little plant here. Uh, the mirth leaf. Always nice. Remove the ice in the brine reservoir. Oh, we need to actually turn this back on, too. Nobody's allowed in. Okay. I don't see any ice in the brine reservoir. Oh, right here. Oh, there. Good call. Thank you very much. All right, this is good. Power's looking good. This coolant is gonna... Oh, watch this. Oh, chat. You gotta love it when a plan comes together, huh? Whoop. No, 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 wait. No. Why would you do that? I just want you to go through. Don't do that. I guess I gotta do it this way. Here we go. Alright, so right now this is obviously way too warm. 
This is off. Which is the way you want it. Uh, in fact, it will say if it's above 1,000 degrees, you can turn on. If you are above 1,000 degrees, you can turn on. Okay, so they should be off, so it'll actually fill it perfect. Have a good one, Agent. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you. Why aren't you, do, why aren't you filling anymore? This is so, oh, it's only doing the extra. Okay, so if we did this, now it'll all dump in there. All right, while that is working, let's get our water on. Um, so we'll start with polluted water. No, we'll start with brine. Enable auto bottle, because I don't know if we have any just sitting around. And then we'll have to get... Beautiful. That'll give us a little bit of brine. Because I'll bet you it says no errands. Yep. Come on. You can do it. How are we doing on temps, by the way? 27. Needs a little bit more gold. And then you know what we're going to do in here? Oh, you guys are going to hate this. We're going to put a liquid tepidizer right in here for your viewing enjoyment. All right, you have some brine. Stop putting brine in here for now. That should be plenty. We don't need to sweep it. They always pick it up because this is set on pick up all the ice. See, then they just drop it off. Ice all gone. All right, so how much do we want? 47 kilos, that's funny. Now we want some polluted water. I think somewhere we had, yes, right here. Perfect. So we will enable the auto bottle for just one of them. Because we don't need that much. Brilliant. And then we'll turn water on. All right, what else needs to be done? Yeah, what are we putting in here? Just water? I mean, water is really convenient. Polluted water is actually a better... So if we check the stats, polluted water it has bigger range, obviously, but it has specific heat capacity of 4.1, thermal conductivity of 0.58. Where's my water? Compared to? Specific heat capacity of 4.179, thermal conductivity of 0.6. <gasps> Water's better. <gasps> water is better. We're using water. I didn't think water was going to be better. It was. We also need to build this loop. I think the start, we're just going to go... Right around our little grow sections. To power through this, so we'll have... Hmm... I don't want to use all radiant. That'd be very, very expensive. So let's just say... One... One, one. Ew, ew, ew. One, two. One, two, one, two. Up over here.
and then it can come over here somehow. Actually, we'll be able to redo this pipe segment because we will not be using this for chill anymore. So why don't we do that now? Get this out of the way. The mealwood is growing again. That's good. Kind of forgot to check on it. How did the decor come out? Look at that nice little section there. So nice. Uh, you know what? We could put a statue and the entrance of everything. It would actually help mitigate some of the negative decor. And it would help the little... What do we call him? The rancher! Statue? Statue? You're gonna get a statue too, you just don't know it yet. Statue there. Statue. Nope. More statues. You want a statue? Perfect. Oh yes, absolutely. More statues for you. And sure, we'll put one there too. Some of you are gonna need airflow tiles, but that's okay. Uh, specifically you. 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 Why not metal in front instead of stone? Because we need the metal. We actually don't have a lot of the metals. Uh, we could probably throw some nice decor in here too. Where are we? Furniture. Maybe here we'll do some marble blocks. Okay, one can go there. One can go here. And then we'll put some nice small sculpting blocks in here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, be still, my heart. Um, and a landscape canvas. Oh, it won't fit because of the plants, I guess. So no, 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 and no. But we might be able to put a blank canvas right here. And here. Actually, it'd probably be better. Because I don't like the little indiscriminate. Like pictures. Like, they gotta be somewhat even. Otherwise, they're gonna drive us bonkers. So what we'll do... ...is put a couple pieces of corner molding. Oh, yes. Drekos need their molding. They love corner round. Look at this. Oh, yep. Crown molding in the barn is fancy. Absolutely. Don't let that last level feel left out. It's already a bottom. Which last level? I don't remember. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Perfect. Calero, you got some work to do. All right, this is good. I think so. Are we not? We're not picking up the phosphorite yet. I'll have to remember that. I wonder. Actually, there's a lot of phosphorite right there. I don't know how so much got in, the, in there over there. In there over there. Yeah. We could put an auto sweeper here. Can't reach. No, it was close. Close. It would have been cool. That way it could have fed the Wheeze Warts. Alright, this is good. Barn's looking good. Uh, we need to continue work here. This is all getting separated. We'll use regular sandstone pipes for the rest. Because it does not matter. It's gonna come out of here. It's gonna go like this. We can actually separate you out. And go in.
right? Oh, we could separate them right from here. Oh, that's kind of sexy, but it'd be... You know, you'd separate them and then rejoin them, but it'd be kind of messy. So what we're going to do is... Maybe go up and around. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. This is beautiful. It actually doesn't even need to go that far over. Like this. Then like this. I can't undeposit because it'll try to override our beautiful radiant pipes. And that's not what we want. Like this. Uh, I guess we'll go over. That way we can do it all at once. Coming across. And then you will be going back this way. This is a large, complicated loop, isn't it? All the way over. All the way across. All the way down. Brilliant. Over. A couple of more nice little radiant liquid pipes for our friend, the steam turbine. In. In. Like this. Okay, now we gotta go cancel everywhere we didn't want it to be. For instance, right here. Oh, uh, really? You're gonna make me do this? We'll wait for them all to be built, and then we'll do it. Uh, that's good. Chat? I think it's good. It's complicated. It's very loopy. But it's gonna work. Uh, we need to actually get working on a couple of things. First, where does this drop to? All the way down here? Because when they invariably have potty issues... You kind of want it to drop right there, so what we can do is something like this. There we go. And then you put a liquid pump in here. Liquid pump. What we do with that... I don't know, maybe send it over here. I mean, that's a brilliant idea. I think we're going to do that one. Whoop. And pipe it right back on. Use the radiant pipe copy and link to the blueprint. Use the radiant pipe copy and link. I'm afraid you've... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once it's done, then I can just go like this. See, like this... Whoop. I'm thinking that's what you mean. Because then you can just cancel everything and it's all nice. I think that's what you meant. All right, uh, more piping is needed here and here. What are we going to do with this, though? Chat, this is one, this one's going to be an issue. Yeah, we can thermo aqua tuner it. But what are we going to do with it? Because we still need our metal refinery. Hmm. I guess the metal refinery could live over here. And we still got to deal with this thing. This one's going to be easy, but... You know how that goes. That's another thermo aqua tuner sort of thing. Oh, our research finished. Let's get some more research on. Oh, that one looks good. 
Actually, this one first. Use it to cool the power brick. Use it to cool the power brick. I don't think we need to cool the power brick yet. Because this power brick's not going to be here. It's kind of the issue. This is all duct taped together. Because we're, we're building with the end in sight. Alright. We are taking our time here. The Bristle Blossom is stifling again. We're down to 84,000 calories. Which I have no doubt that some of you in chat saw. But like, don't tell them. You guys probably all DM'd each other. Like, don't tell them. But the food's going down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're out of materials? We cannot be out of sandstone. We're out of sandstone? Who does that? Who runs out of sandstone? Ugh. Minerals. Here's some sandstone. There's some sandstone. Is there any big giant spots? I guess we could start here, right? Yeah. Whatever. We're gonna make igneous rock tiles instead of sandstone tiles. That should be more. Yep. Where else? Here, sandstone. There's some more. Oh, yeah. What? Is, look at all this hidden here. Yeah, we can get all this. Beautiful. Kathora. With the two months, thank you very much. Time fly does. Time fly does. Time does fly. Something. Oh, look how nice this is. Unfortunately, we've been forgetting about it, so we have 100 kilos of water in there. That's never going to turn to steam. All right, what, what else do we need to do in here? Or is it done? I can't believe we ran out of sandstone. Who does that? Like, that's just weird. Can you give me some sandstone printing pot? Nope, ice. Oh, oh, there's some sandstone right in here. Can I get in here? Hop, hop, hop. Yes, we can just go like this. I don't want that mirth leaf seed too. Oh, it's gonna let some of this hydrogen out, but at this point, we need sandstone, people. It's a sandstone emergency. I mean, it's sitting everywhere. Just gotta go get it. That's gonna be too tall. So might as well not. Guess we could do one of these ladder buildies right uh, here. That might work. I don't know. Hey, Calero. Can we get on it? I mean... Just taking your time. Not completing your marble blocks. Uh, 11 idols. Why do we have 11 idlers? I have all this ready to dig. They can come up over there. Oh. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ah! Thank you very much. Now go do all the things and all the... Look at them all left. Guys, we have so much work to do! I'll bet you we're not even out of sandstone, are we? Nope, we just didn't have access to it. Winning! Every day. Oh, 
All right, what else do we have? They're going to finally be able to complete that now that we've fixed their... the way to get out. I mean, doesn't look this beaut... doesn't this look beautiful, though? It'll always have crappy carbon dioxide in it, but that's okay. I suppose we could make these out of airflow tiles to let the gases out? I mean... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, chat. Oh, chat. Uh-oh. This is the critical tile right here. We can come up, we can run. Somebody called it, too. I saw somebody talk about gnats being trapped, but I was like, no, they'll be fine. Uh... They come run over here, they kill this, and then they'll be able to get down, but that is... Not a lot of breath. Hmm. Run! No, don't stick around. Okay, you're, you're breathing. Well, since you're here... Huh? They surely are going to do these first, right? So that way they can't get up. Alright. There we go. Now we fixed it. <laughs> Thanks for not dying. Now dig! <laughs> oh. oh yes! We actually need to get started on some suits too. There we go. Uh, how many are we going to be able to fit here? Nope, that can't go there yet. I need some power. Power, power, power. Okay. And then we'll be able to cap that off. But we'll be able to fit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Oh, uh, 14? Hmm. I mean, we could do two layers, but I think 14 is going to be fine because the cook's always going to be in here. Yeah, this works. This works. Alright. So yeah, we need 14 suits coming. Uh, copper? My gosh. We're running out. Of all the things. 14. And then let's throw more copper ore to copper right here. Let's say another 50. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I don't even allow my cook outside the front door. <laughs> Kathora says. See? And you think we're bad dupes. Kathora's cook is in servitude. Uh, this stuff is all gonna go off. But... Uh-oh. Oh, oh, th oh, thank goodness. 1,800 grams. Okay, so even if it goes off, it doesn't matter. What is... What do what you... <laughs> really? Why would you... Okay. I, I guess what... At a priority of one, I guess they were bored when they couldn't get out. So they're like, oh, let's throw stuff in here. Look at all the fish! Oh, yes. Alright, did you get the power plug? Yes, you did. Let's get that picked up. Everything's coming together all at once. Alright, we also need... I don't know how it selected that. We'll do it. Uh, right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Please stand by for a little bit of maintenance. Okay, the loop is good. Comes out, goes all the way through here. Make sure our bristle blossoms are nice and cool. Then it comes up over here, through here, and then down. 
All right, that link is complete, which means all we have to do to fill it is this. No, oh, stop it. Yay! Uh, we also need to check this, and it's over full, because of course it is. How did it overfill? It shouldn't have been able to overfill. Hmm. All right, I guess we're taking one out. We need to pay attention. We'll make this a higher priority so we can stare at it for a little while. Wait, is it on? This line needed to be longer. I don't know. Because you didn't put the bridge on... Onto the top, uh, the loop line from the fill line, you're going to have the same problem with the liquid loop. No. It's gonna be fine. As long as we catch it. <laughs> oh, let's pay attention. There we go. Uh, as soon as we see the liquid starting to come around. We'll just disconnect it. It'll be fine. Uh, what are you doing? Ernie? Do you see my point? Ernie was... This is where Ernie is choosing to idle. Instead of going to a rec room. That's a bad Ernie. Alright, this is good here. And it's still too full. One day, I'm going to get that right. One day. I need to put it on regular speed so I can see when this is fixed. You'll be able to tell because it'll move one tile at a time. Now it's fixed. All right. Uh, we can deconstruct the ladder and this. That should be everything, right? Then we'll be able to scoop that out. Oh, wait. We need this here. Something like that. Uh, maybe a temperature shift plate. Utilities, temperature shift plate. This can be igneous rock. It doesn't really matter. Just something to make it a little bit more efficient. Can we scoop this? Why is everybody sitting around? The rec room should do it, but... Clearly not. They have a beautiful rec room here. I mean, look at this decor. There's so much room for activities. Ew. Three of the same portrait. Um, no. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, we're getting rid of these. I do love this one. If anybody hasn't seen the movie, The Thomas Crown Affair. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. They shouldn't be searching for work. They should be in the rec room. That there, there. All right, now we're going to put one of these pretty ones right here. And then we'll put a pickled meal one right here. Okay. And yeah, we're going to have to do some shifting around here too. Calero, I tell you what. I tell you what. You're about to get skill scrubbed. Maybe you'll do it better once you're shaken. 
Are there really only four of these portraits? Come on, Clay, give me a little bit more than four. Now with the threats of violence. <laughs> oh. oh, look how beautiful that looks, huh? Absolutely majestic. Now we can turn these on. All right, so we want the hydrogen to be at minus 25. I think that'll do. And then we want our base to be at nice 20 degrees. I thought I added that. The switcher. Apparently I didn't. I could have sworn I just installed it. I know what it is. Stand by. Stand by. It's not activated. It's not activated, chat. We got to go to the mod menu. Mods. Resculpt. Enabled. Of course, it wants me to restart. What's everybody having for dinner tonight? I'm starting to get hungry. I start these streams at 4.30 Eastern, so I don't get out until about 8.30, sometimes 9. So I get hungry for dinner. I think Cocky Chick's having pizza. In fact, she's having Stranger Things themed pizza tonight. Kathor is also having pizza. Did you do a YouTube video of your favorite mods? Uh, I don't think I have. I've kind of left the mod scene over to uh, Luma. Luma already does a great job with mod profiles and that sort of stuff. So I don't think there's any reason for me to triple stamp a double stamp. Lloyd! Rotate. There it is. Oh, you can rotate it too! <gasps> Repaint it. Oh, 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 I love this mod. I can't believe there's only four of them. There's only four. But it's, it's better than nothing. Okay. Ah, uh, that one's going to be painted first. Hair pasta with pesto sauce. Angel hair pasta with pesto sauce and breadsticks. Oh, Zoldan. Oh, oh, that's my kind of party, okay? That is my kind of party. Yeah, rescope makes sense for this for this run, right? Let's see what options are here. Oh, that's staying. Look at that. Any duplicates here? Oh, yeah. Where's the gassy? I want the gassy moo one. There it is. Oh, we already have a gassy moo right there. Welcome to the repaint or the rescope mod stream because this is all we're doing forever and ever now i think there's only two of these oh no oh <gasps> nope this has got to be that one because bert and ernie live together oh that's perfect tell me that's not perfect chat <laughs> it's <laughs> <sighs> Oh, this is beautiful. I don't think there's a lot of these statue designs. I mean, it's just spheres. I mean, there's only three. We'll try to redo some of them, but it's kind of... ...boring. You know what? There's no... I mean, this could be very easily be a flower. No, we wanted all of them to be different. Okay, we're going to stop messing around with it. All right. Um, look at them. Once again, see where they're choosing the idol? I've never understood this. I can't figure it out. They, but they're choosing to come here. There's always a spot in every map. Ah. 
I don't, I don't get it. All right, let's get rid of this. Get our steam turbine on. Yeah, this thermo aqua tuner is not going to have to work very hard. But everything should be good now. Independent of what the water coming through. Power? We're going to start playing power issue games? I'm not ready for power issue games. Oh. Uh, I can't believe we're about to make this out of iron. Where are we coming with our copper? Let's put this on a six. It also is trying to cool all this. Hydrogen's down, but it's got a lot to cool. It's gonna take a few minutes. I know it stinks. Because we couldn't have the metal tile there. In fact, we could almost see... It'll be... Maybe it'll be the gas temperature? 16 degrees? That'll be the most prophetic. Hydrogen is at minus 35. The chlorine is going down. It's just going down slow. And it's also got to cool down this temperature shift plate. Which gas stinks, right? Can I get the temperature shift plate, please? It's having me select things I'm not trying to select. Give me the temperature... Sh there it is. Yeah, and the uh, temperature shift plate is still at 21. So it's going to be a while. It's going to be a long while, but there's... I mean, without redoing this entire design, there was really nothing we could do. But one thing we can do now... So this... We need to have... Oh, this is going to be perfect, isn't it? Almost. Dang it. We're going to need another system here. Hey, can we move this over by one? You'll see why. Because we're going to need a beautiful auto super there. That takes all of the conveyor loader stuff. Like this. Nope. This has got to be here. Perfect. And... We'll see. I would like for them to be matching. Matchy, matchy! But this one cannot have access to this. So how are we going to do that? Move it over by one. But then it can't see in. Um, maybe like this. We'll have to see if that works. All right, so it can't see there. Nope, and I can't even put this there. Oh, this is going to be problematic, guys. Going to be problematic. have to be able to block what this sees but still be able to feed this gas range this one could grab the foods <gasps> oh no because this auto sweeper can't be able to see this one oh we could just cart all the foods over, drop them, and then this auto sweep will load them in. That's probably what we're going to have to do. Okay. This will work. So now we need some power. Did 
That's good there. All the edibles go in here at a slightly lower one edible. This can't reach it. This can. So everything gets thrown in there. Alright, so far. So far, so good. Uh, food. Now we can put the gas range down. Now I know we don't have a gas range thing yet. But that's okay. Alright? You gotta believe. I believe. Nope, this is gonna have to come over and up. Because this little guy right here... We'll be taking all the completed meals. So where's... Yep, this is going to load the food out of here. And then it's going to take finished ones and put them in here. Oh, that's not going to work. Because even if it takes finished ones, it would still take all the finished ones that are in the freezer. We're going to have to work on that one. It, I hope everybody understands what this issue is. This auto sweeper, the auto sweeper that grabs the foods from the gas range cannot be the gas the auto sweeper that gets it from the deep freezer. If you feel me. Uh what's in here? This system works great. But this needs to come over just one more tile would have been perfect. But this auto sweeper just sees too much. It's all seeing. And we can't move it down. Well, wait a minute. Can we move this over? Maybe we don't need two that do it. Maybe we do this. Right? So it can't get inside the freezer. Then... We just have a little container right here. Oh, we don't have those yet. Chat, we don't have conveyor receptacles. We need conveyor receptacles. Oh, chat, start yelling at me now, please, because I refuse. There it is, solid control. And then we'll just have a receptacle. Oh, this is so nice. This is going to be so nice. We'll have a little conveyor receptacle that'll come right here. And it's only going to keep how much? Like, not much. Because it'll constantly need to be cooked. I think that's good. Actually, I'd rather... The closer it is, the less food that'll be sitting on it. So, then that can go like that. Solved it! Right? No. <laughs> there needs to be two. There needs to be an ingredient one. And one that takes finished foods. But then, this auto super is going to be able to see it. So the one that takes the finished foods is going to have to be up here, like this. And it will just go like this. All right. Thank you for the station identification break. It's going to work. It's actually going to work pretty good. In fact, we could even move this over one and make this line even smaller. Can, can an auto super throw things directly into a receptacle? Gabby's 30th. Welcome back. Chat, what's the answer to that question? Does anybody know? Can an auto super th throw things directly into a receptacle? Now, this will be all the finished things that we don't have to worry about yet because we don't have anything finished. 
Ghost Rider says no. Deck says receptacle equals takeout. I got you. So no matter what, we will still need another one of these. Or no, this is good. So we'll have two separate ones. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. That'll go there. Receptacle will go here. That, my friends, is our finished kitchen. Except we need a nice little ceiling light right here. And... I think it's right here. Need our weight plate. This one I always get wrong. It might not. See the... This tile is right here. But I think the dupe stands over. Or maybe they look like they're standing over, but they're not really standing over. One of those things. Right up into the light. Wow, we have spent entirely too much time on that. Uh, do we finally have enough copper? Alright, what's going on? What are we- oh, are we trying to build something else out of copper? Oh, I guess all this stuff was being built out of copper, too. Curative tablets for the win! We're down to 68,000 calories. This should get back online, though. Twenty-three degrees, twenty-nine degrees. Perfect. This needs to be on four, not a five. Storage bins do not belong. Can they get over there? I don't know if they can get over there. We're about to see. Still on Rachel. We'll eventually get there. Can I build it yet? 300 away. Alright, what's the next project? Gallant Gabby. First time chatter. I haven't caught up to the stream via YouTube yet, but happy about getting to catch you even a little bit of the stream. Gallant Gabby, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. This is... Our material study works great. All the research is going well. I mean, we've already got 10 applied sciences. It's not the quickest way to do it, but it works. How are we doing on read fibers? We're up to 21 units, which is good. <gasps> What's going on here again? Oh, we're running out of power. <laughs> we'll work on it. Uh, what does it involve? Just putting three more coal generators down? We're down to 55 tons? Are we low? And what else are we going to do for power? I mean, we do have idling dupes all the time that could be running on wheels. If we could eventually get some glass, of course, the light's probably not great up here. Uh, we'll check the star map. It's probably, what, 25,000? 20,000 lux. Geothermal. Everybody always wants geothermal. We could do geothermal. I mean, that's a lot. Geothermal is actually more difficult, too, now. Because you can't build through the doors. We could tap into a couple of these volcanoes. Use those for power. Our industrial sauna. But typically, industrial saunas don't pay for themselves. We might have to be careful. All right, uh, this is done. Okay, so that's going to go there. That's going to go here. Stations. Stations, everyone. Stations. Oh, this is more copper. Oh, for the love of Pete. Did we leave much lead over here? It's not going to tell us because we don't have a dupe. We could use that lead. It's not going to show us, is it? There it is. So it's the bright stuff. No, we did not leave much here at all. 
Oy vey. Yeah, and we don't have one on either one of these planets. We do have a regular volcano for igneous rock. But nothing. We're all, like, it seems like the past few colonies we've been metal poor, but I guess that's kind of the point of the spaced out, is they want you to be metal poor. Alright, what do we got here? Iron, iron. You want to save all that iron because, well, you want to turn it into steel. Ooh, what is this? A little, oh, only a hundred kilos. What a tease! Yeah, we're eventually gonna- Oh, wait! Oh! Mother load! Let's get in here, steal some of this. In fact... When you're in there... Can you jump down here? Jump down here. Here's some more copper. At least it's some more copper. Now, we're gonna have to refine it. I get it. Not, nobody's going to get stuck there, right? Brilliant. Um, there's some more copper. How much is here? Oh, there's a big vein here. I, I can't see this color the best. But we're going to go all the way through that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Come and get your love. Right up into the Neutronium. Beautiful. Uh, we do want to turn that all into a priority of four, though. We'll watch this one happen and make sure we don't kill anybody. I think this looks good, though. Alright, so this brings us... We're at 55 tons of copper ore, and it's quickly going to climb now. We didn't kill any of the Abyssalite, did we? No. Output pipe full. That... They must have just finished is why. They must have just finished. The tea's empty, chat. Time to switch over to high quality H2O. Embarrass? First time chatter. Echo's like, oh yeah, oh. And my wife almost instantly, <laughs> what are you watching? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Welcome to the ASMR stream. <laughs> this is good. Uh, let's check. Yeah, this loop is perfect. Comparis with the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Blessing me with that Soul Prime sub. Where is... Oh, we gotta check the status of our freezer, too. Sterile, but still unrefrigerated. Oh, it's gonna take so long, man. Uh, temperature shift plate. Give me just the temperature shift plate, please. We might have to do a rework. Because for some reason, it's definitely not falling as fast as it normally did. It normally takes some while to get this, um, to get it to drop. Not this far, or not this long. It's at 14 degrees. Yeah. Uh, I know what we can do. Let's brute force it. Minus 100. Once we get more power. Please tell me, because we could be giving some of this back. There we go. There's our copper. Okay, that's good there. Plumbing. There. That is done. Now we're gonna brute force that. We'll get a couple of more. 
of these beautiful things here. There's actually more copper sitting here. Completely missing. Um, yep. One of these. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Now that we're going to be running two. What do we have that's... I mean, the water is going up. How... The hydrogen comes in at 37. This, by the way, can get separated. We don't want you to stick up here. We want you all to be fed to the hydrogen generator. Hydrogen is coming out at 38. It's not great. Eventually, this is all going to be moved anyways into an industrial sauna. Soon? Oh, very soon. Alright, so now we need to wait for even more copper, because we need suits. Where is my super suit? Honey! They are taking their sweet time to do this, though. We need to figure this out. For now, it's at 22 and 23 degrees. That's perfect. In a while, it will not matter because this thermal aqua tuna is going to brute force this temperature. I, You know, it's probably already done it. So why don't we get rid of this loop? So that way they don't have to wait. Alright. We can go right in here. And then, when it's ready to dump... It just goes right up and over, and gets dropped. What? I can't fit in there! There you go. Um, so the water will come straight in. It'll be a little warmer here. This is perfect. I think. Alright, get this done. Quickly, dupes! Copper is dependent on you! Hydrogen's stinking up here. They can't exactly breathe up here, which also makes matters worse. I don't know where that hydrogen's coming from. We must have let a bunch out. Where's this hydrogen coming from? Chat, did we goof? That's a lot. Oh, the plug slugs, but they shouldn't be eating. Remember, we made sure the plug slugs couldn't get over here? They should be hungry, pluggy slugs. Better do a sweep, just in case. What is this? Somebody's purple polyester suit! I don't know who it's going to. Uh, I think maybe Nats wanted a purple polyester suit. Oh, uh, sweep it, sweep it. You, you can't... There is some coal there. That's what they're sweeping. Anything else just lying willy-nilly? I don't believe so. Oh, uh, that was Komori 2.0's. <laughs> With the sad echo. <laughs> oh, more Paku? Hmm. I guess we could use some extra calories, right? Go get them! We're having fish tonight, boys! Uh, Paku filet. Yep, good. I'm really disappointed in this. And I feel like there was a solution that I could have done. Now, once the temperature shift plate and 
the chlorine gas in there get cold, it's going to stay there. Especially now that we're brute forcing it with minus 100 hydrogen. Should. Yes. All the coppers now. Look at it being churned. Now all this is going to fill up pretty quickly. Oh, you know what? Instead of dumping this back in, why don't we bridge it on? No, because then that would do the same thing. The output pipe would get full. Haven't you said that temperature shift plates touching insulated tiles cause them to transfer to it? Yes, it does. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. Uh, what Kamori is talking about... Wrong insulated... There we go. Is this temperature shift plate is actually still transferring um, temperature into the insulated tiles. If you notice, the insulated tiles are down to 13 degrees. All three of them. How much you want to bet that temperature... Yep. Temperature shift plate, 12.5. So it actually has to cool down all these insulated tiles, etc, etc. The insulated tiles, once they get there, it's going to be fine anyways. But yeah. Good question. Uh, oh, these two... Yeah, look. Duplicates! Next. Oh, beautiful. Duplicates! Look how much better we're doing Calero's job. I mean... I just have to click a button. Calero takes her time. Oh, what about these? Oh, this one's... We had a couple of other dupes do them, too. This is a metal sculpture. Maybe we should have thrown some metals ones in here, but we're kind of hurting on metal, right? <laughs> yeah, try hard. So mean. No. No. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Oh. Uh, it ain't going to take long. Well... We say that. It's probably going to take the rest of the stream. This is working better now. We should be churning through it. That is good news. But now, what's the long-term future of this area? I think we need to plug this in. Maybe get a power switch. So when this tepidizer is working, the metal refinery can't be working. Because right now, we're dropping a bunch of water in here. So, how do we do this? Alright. A temperature sensor. Here's what we do. Unfortunately, it's going to limit. It is going to limit the amount of metals that we're going to be do able to do temporarily. So, when this is green, we will not... this, and then come up here and go right into here. Oh, this is genius. That way we don't have to worry about these both being on at the same time. Huh? I just big-brained that one. That was a big brain move. It may not work. We'll see. But that was a big brain one. I'm proud of that one. You know, every once in a while, you're proud of yourself, like, ooh, that's a good idea. That's what I just did. Alright, we'll come back to them in a minute. I think we have enough copper to get started on our stations. Uh, oh, there's our conveyor receptacle. Bloop. Stations, everybody, stations. 
Please go away! Exclamation mark. There we go. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ladybugs came to the ladybug picnic. A one, two, three, four, five, six. What? You don't know that jam? And where is our suit maker? Are they all done? That was a lot of copper too, right? Yes, it was. We have been churning through the copper. It's it's a it's a deep cut, okay? That one is from a Sesame Street VHS tape that we used to play. It may have been DVD. It's the song is the ladybugs came to the picnic or something. Yeah. Like I said, deep cut. All right, now which one is our oxygen line? It is this one here. So we need a couple of these money honeys right here. Now, is this the good gas pipe? Yes, it is. And it's just going to come straight through. Nice and easy. I got to see what that is. <laughs> Kamori just re-olded me. <laughs> Watch you get that copyright <laughs> takedown. Sesame Street, don't mess around. <laughs> Oh, big gangster on Sesame Street. Oh. There is no way my singing triggers any copyright mechanism. It's got to at least be similar, right? And done. Oh, that kills our copper, too. Can we use some lead? Let's use all the lead we have, right? Then we'll use. I can't believe how broke we are. Oh, will work for copper. Okay. And then we have to start delivering suits. Deliver suit. I heard about that. I just never knew if it was true. Because uh, Gun Griffin is correct that uh, Happy Birthday is a copyrighted song. The capitalistic insert word for hmm, not pleasant person. I'm a I'm a pro I'm a fan of capitalism. Okay, I'm a pro capitalist guy because it has built this country. But then there's those capitalists that give capitalists a bad name, like those patent lawyers. They just go around trying to patent things, just to patent them. Why are we overloading? We should not be overloading here. Oh, it's because this isn't set yet, which first of all, we need to disconnect. This? Uh, yeah, that too. Eventually, we'll have room for something else. We moved this for the wrong reason. Because remember, we're going to put the big wire up there, but that doesn't matter. But we are going to be able to reclaim all that copper, which is why we're doing it. But we probably pulled too much because of this, because this isn't set. So, we want the temperature here to be... Hold on. If the temperature is below one degree, turn on. Otherwise, send a red signal, which flips this to a green, which allows the metal refinery to work. And because this is off, it should not be pulling any power. 
The song is in the public domain in the United States and the European Union. Warner Chapel Music had previously claimed copyright on the song in the U.S. and collected licensing fees for its use. In 2015, the copyright claim was declared invalid, and Warner Chapel agreed to pay back $14 million in licensing fees. Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. Well, it's like... Disney... So, some things... Some things I don't agree with, either. Like, Mickey Mouse should never go into public domain. But right now, Disney World has to fight to keep its rights. Right? Now, I can understand if you just stopped using it. But Disney World... Or, Disney has obviously not stopped... Not stopped using Mickey Mouse. But they shouldn't use lose their rights to it. That just doesn't seem... Right? Yes, it is due to age. Uh, I think it's 50 years or 75 years, but there's some little tricky things that you can do to get it renewed. I can't not remember, but that's why, like, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh is now... Public. And people can start doing weird things to it. Um, which... I, well, of course, I don't necessarily mind it now that I'm thinking about it because Disney has done the same, same exact things um, from old fairy tales. Like, uh, what is it? Pinocchio. Alice in the Wonderland. I don't believe Alice in Wonderland is a an original Disney property. That sort of thing. This is looking... Oh, I, I want two more blobs in there. See? They come from this. Mm. I want more. Okay, so if I bring it up through here... And then just dump it off right there. There we go. That's a couple more blobs? That's fine. I'm fine with two more blobs. Two more blobs is better than none more blobs. Oh, oh yes, come on. Chlorine is at one degree. This stuff is now refrigerated. Once it gets there, it doesn't really have any problems keeping up. But getting there can be a challenge. This system's gonna work great. Unfortunately, we... I guess we could start making surf and turf. Oh, we don't have natural gas. Never mind. The problem is you need to make sure it's feeding and still cooking. Otherwise, all your food's going to end up on this line. But it's also the reason why we made this line so short. That way it'll stop feeding in. It'll be good. It's going to be wonderful. All right. Uh, hatchling? Fertilizer? Take the fertilizer. Can you use the aqua tuner? With the... I gotta move my mouse. Can you use the aqua tuner with the petrol for the freezer? Um, we didn't want to. And the reason why is because they're on two different temperatures. For instance, we want to be able to regulate the temperature in this base, which is a much harder job. So we decided, instead of running two aqua tuners, which would be much more power intensive, we're just running a regulator and an aqua tuner. Once it gets set, once this is frozen, the the time this thermal regulator runs is going to be minimized. But it's got to get frozen first. It'll be very minimal, I guess is the word I'm looking for. All right. I like this system. This is working. So now this water can just come straight out. We don't even mind. Because when it gets too cold, this therm this liquid tepidizer will turn on and make it at least, what we say, one degree? Maybe make it three degrees just for safety. Thank you, Max. Alice in Wonderland was Lewis Carroll. I think Hans Christian Anderson may have been Little Mermaid. 
I know Hans Christian Andersen had a few that was uh, used by Disney, and now everybody thinks Disney created them. We're not in suits yet. We're waiting for these to fill. I don't like this. This is not a solid. So we're going to remove that. We still need to supply some oxygen to the outside here. So I think we'll do it from one of these. For instance, we can go like right here. No. That would be silly. Let's go right here. Why can't I build there? Oh, because there's a spindly grub fruit plant there. All right. All right. Ah. Huh? There. Now we can get rid of this one. That should provide a more steady line. We still have this over here, which we can get rid of. Nobody ever comes over here anyways. But that's why the oxygen is still sitting here stable. This is a massive amount of pipes. Mr. Anderson. Uh, send that hydrogen back there. Oh, no. Oh, we've been messing up. I always do this. Why, Echo? Because you're doing too much at once. Like this. Brilliant. Uh, regular power. Can we get some power on the subject? I guess this will have to do right here. Somehow we reclaimed a bunch of lead. I don't know where we reclaimed it from, but I'll take it. And this has to be set on like 9060. What did we actually do? We did 9060, okay. That way the hydrogen burns first, I suppose. Or maybe we set this one on 9040. And copy. Because, for instance... Yeah, we're actually pretty chock full right now on hydrogen. And power's not taking a hit. It's what winning looks like, folks. How did you get over here, little guy? Do y'all see what's happening here? It must have been when... I dug this. Had to be. Uh, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, we actually have room for two more. Chat, if we have room for two more... Mm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, but we didn't have more room for beds. We could... make a couple of apartments. That would make more... That would make more room. Alright. Because this will fit one more. Hmm... Wit took my dupe for no reason. <laughs> Poor Komori. I think it's because you had a dupe. You had two dupes. So he wanted you to be a giver. Where are we gonna fit in these two where it looks nice and clean? I mean, it could be in here, but I like Bert and Ernie's apartment. I guess we could put a three stack here and a three stack here. I mean, it's not as good. I only take Camille's, <laughs> which sounds worse than it is. Oh. Thank you, Zolden. 
for a reminder. If it, we get a stinky, it's going to Glenn. I guess we can do this, right? We'll make room here. Uh, which does free up another spot. For another painting. Should it be... I think it's got to be a landscape, huh? We'll get rid of... So four. No. I guess you could put a landscape here and then another plant. Choices, choices. That's going to be there. Oh, no. Uh, what did I do? Oops. Oh, look at this. Crown molding still sitting there, even though it's not on a corner. That's one way to do it. Make the corner, then delete it. I'll take it. Don't know what we're going to do with this space yet, but it's good. He's a slumlord now. We're not slumlording. We, we just have... We have some choices to make. Yeah. We can get rid of this sculpture. We can put a nice tall sculpture in here. Because they're living a little tighter. We'll even make it metal. Like, this is how ridiculous this run is. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll just... Do like that. Then like this. Now we have room for another dupe. And then we're going to do one of these in here. Who's getting a new roommate? Who's it going to be? It would be helpful if it's something like this. Like this one. Uh, there's a plant there. So there, maybe just get another plant. Two plants, if you will. It'll be a double plantage. No, because what we can do is this. Because, yeah, because they're living three to a room, right? Are you ever going to go back there and build that shower you talked about three hours ago? Not until Calero reminds me. <laughs> there you go. Nice little metal statue for you. Uh, and we'll give you a nice blisper seed. Hopefully nobody in here has allergies. Look at Kamori sleeping with their... their balloon. Oh, everybody's got balloons. They're so happy. Here we go. And then we need some of that action right there. Now with more showers. One two-by-two two painting, better than two plants. Yes, but we're not trying to max it, right? We're trying to make it look kind of cool. Here we go. Uh, we do need the carbon dioxide sink here. So it should, pro it should be flowing out through here, but it's still stagnant here. It should be coming straight through here. But it's not moving quick enough. We'll have to keep an eye on this. Actually, we're going to need to put one here anyways. Because all that carbon dioxide needs to fall down. And I suppose since it is taking its... Takes a while to get over there, we can do this. I'm not ready to turn the suits on yet. Until we get all of them full. Because once they start using them, you know how it is. You're always trying to get more oxygen for your suits. We can't take a dupe naming opportunity from other people. So max morale does sound awesome, but... I want other people in the chat to be able to spend their points. Oh yeah, let's get rid of all this. Oh yes, and this. Oh. I don't think so. Not another floral. I'd be 
That's okay. I mean, that's pretty good morale. We could probably do something over here, though. Let's put a, a nice portrait. So you know what we need? Is it worth having somebody that's not Masterworks to give us a little bit more variety? We have to have another dupe that enjoys doing aesthetic design or decorating. Apparently we don't. Because that would give us more options, too, and what they look like. And the decor is so crazy insane that it's not actually going to hurt. Our highest dupe right now is only 44. Ugh. Ugh. These dupes need to spend some time doing other things or something. Oh, this is why. They're hanging out in the debris again. And as much as we made the... Uh, that's okay. And as much as we made it look okay, it's still a massive decor penalty here. Add some downtime to the schedule. There's already downtime. They're already at four slots. It's because they're hanging out in bad places, and the big thing that starts adjusting it late game is, uh, is the decor. That the difference between, like, the amazing decor last cycle and... Okay, this person got charming plus nine. This dupe got gorgeous plus twelve. We'll see. If you move the t uh, the debris down a tile or two, doesn't that help you keep them from getting standing in range? Yes. Let's see what the, the core penalty is. Could move it down here. They'd still be able to get it. I like it. I think that's a pretty ingenious idea. The question is... Is this person going to get bombarded? Or is it only above it? So it's only that tile, this tile... Hmm. We'll look at it. We will look at it. I think it's one square all around. Make an infographic. <laughs> I can't believe I just typed these words. All right, there you go. How do you get them to... How do you keep them from picking up the debris? We have these on sweep only. So they only drop things off here once we sweep them. Now if we look at the decor... Uh, it looks like the tile actually blocks the decor penalty. Um, but they're still able to get it, and that's the important... And the decor here is still okay. In fact, we can even do this. More statues! Furniture. Large sculpting block. Okay. Of course, it's wit. Oh my god, what are you doing? <sighs> well... Oh, uh, this is where I'm standing! Uh -huh. I don't- you can't- I can't build a door here because they need to be able to get in. But look at them just chilling in here. I could build a door here, but then they wouldn't be able to drop off- I could put a door here, but then they wouldn't be able to reach the debris. Oh, This is where they've decided they want to hang out. It's that simple. 
a door on the debris. They're still going to hang out on the door. What they'll do is they will literally wait for the door open and just walk back and forth. I want to know why they idle in here. I just, I haven't been able to fit it. I mean, all the time in oxygen you're not included. And I still can't figure out why they choose this one spot. It's always some rando spot. It could have been where they last did completed a task. Maybe that's what it is. They just completed a task. They don't have any more tasks, so that's where they idle. But that's where they're supposed to go in here. Maybe I should put like a wheel in here on one. <laughs> Ugh. This is why I like to put my infinite solid storage tile in the middle of three mesh doors so they can't pass through. But then how do they get the materials? Because that's what they're doing. They're standing by where their last task was. Idle should definitely be in a, a rec room. But they may not idle there when they're in their suits either. Because they'll want to drop off their suits. They don't idle when they're in their suit. Well, they do, but they want to go back and take the suit off. So maybe that's the solution. Bristleberries? Don't mind if I do. Um, how did you get back over here? Why aren't you licking our wonderful bristle blossoms? Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to need... A vent tile in here, apparently. To let all that hydrogen out. Uh, this is looking good. Well, are we dormant here? We are dormant for another 14 cycles. Water's 18, 13. Oh, this system's working a lot better. I like it. Kamori, have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. What is this here? Water? Uh, we... Better have a storage for water. Oh, we removed it. Yeah, we did. Oh, uh, those fish are doing well. We could start some vitamin chews, but I need to keep an eye on the coal. See if we're going up or down. Right now we're at 44 turn 2. Let's try to remember that. Oh, let's check on the fridge. The freezer? Still refrigerated. We're getting there. Hydrogen's now coming in at minus 55. Oh, I love it. All right, what's the next project? Uh, I think we're going to turn this on. Because all that stuff is hurting our duplicates. A atmosphere checkpoint. Going this way. Yes, please, and thank you. Here you go with the table salt. More water. Get rid of it. Little bottle emptier action right there. Oh, actually, this can go away, can't it? What were, We were using this for ice a millennia ago. So we can put our new tile right there. Or our new... You know what I was trying to say. The new bottle emptier. There we go. There we go. Now we're probably going to... It would probably help if we gave everybody some of the exosuit training. Can we afford it? Meep is only at two. So we'll do that. And that. We'll see where we can afford it and where we can't. Because it definitely helps them out. And it makes our suits last longer. Oh, we might be making some risks here. Wit will still need some time here. Ghost Rider. 
cost three more. Okay. No. Oh, we're out of there, too. Komori. Standard Komori, that is. Meep already has it. Nadev. Here. Oh, see? But when they're idling inside of our beautiful base, that should help. Nats. Definitely right there. I can't believe we're going up to 20 and 25 on these. This is insane. Uh, Queen Calero needs some carry, but I think I'd rather get them in a suit. Quicker. The Doctor. Union Buster Mutt reporting for duty and unfocused. There we go. Now let's see where they end up idling. Go back home, Jelly. It's like you're laughing at me at this point. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, this can actually make some more copper. We need some more. We have 88 tons of copper ore now. That is great news. Can someone tell me how to figure out how much of a particular plant you need to plant per dupe? Using the Roller Snakes mod, trying to figure out how much cactus to plant. So I can do it with Bristle Blossoms. Maybe that'll help. First thing you do is you realize dupes need 1,000... A standard dupe needs 1,000 calories per cycle. Well, we know these Bristle Blossoms take six cycles to produce. They're... They're goodies, right? Six cycles to produce a Bristle Blossom, or to, a Bristle Berry. But at the end of that six cycles, you're given 1,600 calories. You can also take into account the fact that they're going to cook that bristle berry into a gristle berry. So that's 2,000 calories. But from there, that's the number you need. You know it does 2,000 calories, but it takes six cycles to do. So then you d divide that 2,000 calories by the six. And actually, oh, chat. Are you ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Oh, you're not ready for this. Wait, where's my... Oh, this is still on there. Please hold. Please hold. I was gonna do the big reveal and I ruined it, okay? I completely ruined it. I think that's good. Nope, that has to go below here. Stand by, chat. Okay. I'm a giant nub. Woo! It still had the old Father's Frontier thing on. But check this action out. Yeah. So now all I have to do is go over here and say 2,000 calories. We know that Bristle Blossom is going to give us in six cycles. 2,000 divided by six is 333. Well, using that, you now realize it's going to take about three of these plants to produce 1,000 calories to serve a single dupe. Yeah. So now I have a separate scene for just the calculator. But I go over to the game with calculator, and then I can go anywhere I want and open the calculator. And we get stream maths. Woo! I know. Actually, I don't even need a separate scene for that, do I? But it kind of is cool. Because if I open the calculator, then switch to it, you're like, oh, look, there's the calculator. I don't know. Look. It's the little things in life, okay? It's the little things. What were we doing? Replacing this. I hope that helps. Ah! 
Geek likes the transitions. So we're going to keep them. <laughs> you do need five mil wood. That is 100% correct. It is five mil woods. Five mil wood per dupe. All right. We're turning out steel and copper ore. We're up to almost two tons of steel again. That's after creating these in steel. So I can guarantee... Yeah, we're at the... We're at the lime stage where we're hurting on lime. The more eggs they produce, we'll get a little bit better at that, but not much. We do have eight tons of plastic. It says zero lead. Let's go pick all that stuff up, shall we? Uh, we might... Now, if you have a lot of slow dupes, you sometimes want to put a stop on this run. Because what'll end up happening is they'll go out here, they'll change and do another task. They'll try to go pick it up, but by the time they get back up, they'll drop it again. And you can get this sort of loop. It doesn't really happen with us because they'll be in suits, so they'll have plenty of oxygen. So they can just pick all this stuff up. I think we need to start planning the industrial sauna. I think that's a good next step. Look at all this. I mean, this looks like an industrial... Ooh, what is this? <gasps> Chat, we need to go exploring. Let's go exploring. And digging. Because I want to find out what that is. Look at all this coal. This is going to throw my coal calculations off. Weren't we at 44.2? Now we're only at 42. I can't remember what I said, but this is going to throw it off for a little bit. We just got to see if we're using too much coal based on our power. So if that's the case, we might need to throw in another hatch ranch. If smooth hatches were better at what they did, I'd love to do some smooth hatches. I mean, we could do some sage hatches and have them delete all the polluted dirt. That's one possibility. Let me know what you think in the, uh, the comments. Check if that obsidian is scalding before. Why would we do that? Why? But no, it's not. Not that it would matter now. We're in suits. Alright, so this is going to be gravy. I think we can do some six row. That way it's much easier to dig out. There's four. Oh, perfect. Oh, you're not going to let me do it, are you? No, I'm going to have to get up there with a little ladder. One little ladder. Unless I do one of these numbers. Destroy me first! Okay. Uh, so then we'll be able to put a ladder here. Yeah, we're just going to crush it all. I know, it annoys some of you. But... It's what we're doing. Then we don't have to do it for another six, because we can also dig out this here. Dig out four. You'll get, you'll get the picture. One, two, three, four, five, six. I do this when I'm digging out large sections that I don't plan on building in. I'm sure it is a minor volcano, yes. But it'll be really kind of cool, because then I can build the industrial sauna inside the abyssalite have the carbon dioxide guys who do absolutely nothing but link in this minor volcano this minor volcano you know i see peachy with the tier one for three months thank you very much grid stop i always dig out by threes then they can be removed the ceiling later without building anything that's a pretty good idea i like that Screening of one tile storage dropped in Discord. Oh, let me go check that out. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming chamber chat. I am so far behind. Um, They would still come in here. They would still idle in this. This is the one that Ghost posted, I'm assuming.
they will still come in there and... I guess maybe not because the, uh... Oh, because the doors. So they won't just jump down in there and stay. They'll come up out. I like it. Doesn't matter now that they're in suits. For us, particularly. Because now that they're in suits, they won't idle in the suits. Is the theory, right? Uh, we will definitely... Go all the way up, though. That way, the ox... I guess the oxygen doesn't even need to flow, does it? Brilliant. It will take them a while. Let's go. I don't think we've even gone times three speed today. We'll do that. Instead of wasting tile or uh, wasting mats on the ladders, can't you just build down in fours? We could. But we'll waste a little bit here because we're ending gonna we're going to end up actually to tell you the truth. We shouldn't even do these in sixes. We're gonna need to do them in fours. Because this is eventually going to be an industrial sauna. Now that I think about it. And right there. That's good to know. So this will be locked into here. This is going to stay locked, though. And then, but this is going to be here. So we'll have the heat being generated here, here. With maybe some steam turbines up here that are inaccessible. But the power just comes in here. I don't know. It's gonna be glorious. Why was this there? I don't know. Ah. First time chatter, deaf in it. Sorry, how does it help to dig out in threes? Um, so what they were saying is, if you dig out in threes... Uh, so you would leave... I'm trying to do it here, like this, right? And then you would leave this open, and then you would dig out in three mores. Like this. Then it doesn't matter what level you are on, you would still be able to destroy these because you'd be able to get up on the ladders. As I'm assuming is what they were talking about. We do are doing it in fours. So that means... Like this. We actually don't want to do these yet, though. We want to go from top down. Is it cold carbon or hot carbon? Could you ranch slicksters in the sauna? Those are messy saunas, though. It is very cold. Minus 55C. What we call the worthless carbon dioxide geyser. But they do it so that way you can just remove that layer. And then you're left with sort of the six. And dropping them all down. I missed a couple of follows, by the way. Virtunes, thanks for the follow. Definite. Thank you. I like your username, too. It's very creative. <laughs> I see what you did there. This is good. This is... Everything's gravy. See, now they're just going to idle right here instead of going in the rec room. Hmm. Maybe we need to turn these to glass. And that way we can have a bunch of decor here. So if they are just chilling down here, you get what I'm saying. We could just make a giant gym with nothing but uh, priority one wheels so when they're idling they just go run on the wheel and it's absolutely bombed with decor oh I like that idea I like that idea a lot let's do that first we start with some granite bricks why because granite is the best it looks so nice for all of our duplicates Then we're going to put a nice little, little 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 door action right here. Zoldan, we keep looking at, but I think the reason why they're not 
they're not idling from downtime. They're just idling from not having anything to do. Was my theory. So, I'll have a nice little duplicate gym in here. Set at one. With not too many things in it. For instance, we can go something like... A couple large sculpting blocks, like here. Like every two. Except we'll do it... What is this distance? Five? Five. Five. Oh, it's gonna be perfect! It's gonna be perfect! And then a couple of metal blocks, because we have so much metal. Uh, yeah, I just wondered if something like the soda fountain would attract during idle. I thought so too, but... Like, we have our tea station. It has six kilos worth of pinch of pepper nuts. We also have our party line phone. And it's actually in... a recreation room. Can't crack that nut. <laughs> See that pun? Then we're gonna do... What are we gonna do? A bunch of little... Little manual generators. Oh, look at this. Wasting more of that copper. It's gonna be a nice little gym, but, you know... Nice little ceiling lights. Does one actually hit for two? Mmm, it kind of does. But then they wouldn't run it. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's use one for two. Or is it going to be uneven? Oh no, it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now we have room for more paintings. Oh, where's the printing pot? We need another dupe. Suit wearing, supplying, tidying, cooking, building. We need a decorator. These are all trash. We're taking the mirth leaves. All right. But now we can add. How are we doing on reed fiber? 61 units of reed fiber. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that caught up in a quickly. Caught up in a quickly. Math is good. Ooh, that makes me want to... Maybe we should drop these sculpting blocks so we can put plants here. I think this is good. It looks nice. Uh, secondly, though, we need to take all these and turn them on one. One. Oh. There can be no hatches in here. Sorry, fellas. I'm sitting there doing this manually, like there's not another way. Now let me fix the other ones. Brilliant. Brilliant. Slay the strays. <laughs> I see what you did there. I like it too. Somehow we got more lead back again. I don't know where we keep getting this lead. I'll take it though. Hopefully this is enough. Oh no, now it's starting to use iron. Okay. What are you building out of? Lead, 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 lead. Okay, that would be the last one. In fact... Probably just save everybody some time and do this one in copper because you know they didn't have enough lead exactly to do it. There we go. That should be nice. Why not use two strand? Oh. Because I'm not smart. That's why, Calero. Because you're smarters. And I do silly dumb things. Two strand wire would be absolutely perfect. 
It does have a decor, ben uh, decor penalty. Versus the conductive wire, which doesn't. Hmm. The gold ore, yeah, it'll be a decor bonus of 10%, but it'll still be a minus 4.5. In fact, the copper does the same thing. But I, I, because we are short on metal, I think this is smarter anyways. Kambaris, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, but Matt's wise, I think it's, I think it's a, it's a smarter move. Let's see how this looks. Because you can go to the decor right here and see minus 9 for wire, which is the minus 4.5. So, it's still nice decor, though. I'm kind of wondering, what would be better decor? This is plus 30 for a range of 8 tiles. The hanging pot apparently is zero. That's not true statement. This is plus 25 for a range of four tiles. This is a range of plus 24 for four tiles. I was thinking about getting rid of the big sculptures, do short ones. Lex Real, first time chatter. Blue. I don't know what you mean by blue. Oh, not sure I mentioned this. The infographic I made was help to help you with the loop filling. Oh. There's no helping me, geek. I'll mess that up every single time. Um. It's because I didn't bridge it on. It wasn't actually being bridged on. I just tied it in. If I would have bridged it on earlier, I wouldn't have it. I would not have had that problem. But because I just dumped it, that's why I did what it did. It won't stop me from trying. No, keep on, man. You never know when I can use some good advice. Um, this is good. Oh, I'm very blue. Your background, but managed not to make yourself blue on cam. Oh, thanks. It is very blue. We can actually change one of the colors. Hold on. Ugh. Now I gotta reach and move. This will probably mess it up for a minute, but we'll see. Up here, there we go. There's a little like blue yellow mix thing, or maybe that's green. Kind of cool. that it viable today. Each large sculpture can affect six wheels. Three left and three right. I should definitely seem to be uh, helping out. Kathora is apparently idling. I hope you're idling. Now, the one disadvantage of this is they will not jump off until they're, they're done. So if you give them something else to do... They won't go do it instead. There's a certain amount of rotations they have to make. Ah, oh, thanks for the fire, Lex Real. Yeah, thanks for the fire. <laughs> I saw your icon, saw fire, and I'm like, uh-huh. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate you. So this could actually end up hurting productivity. These are all in one, though, right? Yeah. But if we, for instance, go dig stuff, see, they don't immediately jump off. It makes me unhappy. I don't think I like this system now. Of course, that was, unbre that was unreachable, wasn't it? Okay, there's four dig commands. Yeah, see, they still cheat. They still... 
Minor volcano. Beautiful minor volcano. Uh, we will go... How are we going to do this one? I guess it can go straight over now. Beautiful. This sweep command is going to take forever, but that's okay. And some carpeted tiles. Yeah, we're definitely going to get the, the carpeted tiles for the Tootsies. We definitely want the Tootsies buff. But now I need to figure out the, the idling thing. Oh, this goes even further. Man, how awesome would it be if there was another volcano around here? That would make me so happy. And in case you weren't aware, I'm assuming everybody just heard the doggos. Alright, so we have a volcano here, a volcano here. It'll be a perfect little system. We'll have to put... How are we going to put... Hmm, maybe a steam turbine like this. We'll have to break some bisolite. Something like that. But we'll see. And we can obviously go through here. All the way. Oh, yes. I mean, there might be something else down in here that we might be able to incorporate better for a better industrial sauna. Oh, uh, let's go up and around. Uh, yep. That's another volcano. Be afraid. Alright, that's a lot of digging. So, as long as there's tasks on the table, this is where they'll go. But if there isn't, that's where they'll go. But that's at where they'll end up staying for a while. The only way to do that, to make it better, is if you had some sort of system that it dumped the power into, that made him jump off the wheel every time. Sort of like a power shutoff. And you could put that power shutoff on a timer. And like, say, say every three seconds it would kill the power. Yep, Fangirl just thought of the same thing. Let's do that. Because if they're idling, we don't care. Automation. Uh, a timer sensor? Yes. Oh, and it fits perfectly right there. Spending more copper. Spending more copper. I just don't... I want them to run on the, the wheels, but I only want... But I don't want them to stay on it through an entire cycle. Not a real cycle, but we'll flip them on. We'll just kill it. Like once per every 10 seconds. <laughs> right? This is so mean. Because every time they they fall off every time. They'll be like, get off. Get back on. And maybe it needs to be longer than that. Because it might take them a second to get started. Oh, this is going to be perfect. <laughs> I love this. Oh! I think we can fit a little bit more of crown molding up there. Beautiful. And it makes them dance, too. Oh! Oh, we do have enough carpet now, don't we? Reed fiber, do have we unlocked carpet? Oh, yes, we have. Uh, granite? Yes. Two? I don't think this is the first one we want to do. I think the first one we want to do is this room. There went all of it. More coal. Because this, they're not going to be in this room every day. If there's things to do, they won't even come in there. Alright, uh, everything going okay here? Okay here? Nobody's dying? 
That's good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be the uh, industrial sauna yet. So we will keep being, building ladders. If we knew it was not going to be an industrial sauna, or if we knew it was going to be, we would just put mesh tiles from the rip. I can't see there. But there might still be something down here, like another volcano, so we'll have to see. Uh-oh, what'd you do? Beautiful, and we want those destroyed, and that's about it. Oh, we'll actually be able to get up here. And then we'll wait for that to be done, and then we'll kind of crawl around. We'll see. We'll see. Actually, they're not going to be able to get up there. They have to do this. Right? Yeah. Um, That's a lot of digging. And they are churning through it, too. But I kind of want to give this a test. Somebody come get on the wheel. We'll just wait a minute. Somebody's going to come around the wheel. Look at that oxygen staying full, too. Absolutely beautiful oxygen production. We can reclaim that material. Nice little showers. Very nice. This is now going to be blocked, right? I kind of want to empty this just to get rid of this polluted water out of here. Because it will break this, but we did have this on a filter. What happened to our filter? I guess we got rid of it. We'll just break it. So now this should be giving a no output. Yep. Until all this water gets used. The water is actually a little warmer than we wanted. 38, 16. So this last one's a little warmer. Doesn't matter. Oh, speaking of which. Still refrigerated? Minus 15 and a half is where we are. It's working, okay? 98% of the time, it's running. It just has to get there. <laughs> Manually move a dupe and lock the doors. Fangirl. There we go. Oh, get off. Oh, we gotta slow that down. Nope, get off. They didn't face plant. They used to face plant. So are we gonna have food issues when that pee water and the pipes gets there? Uh, no, the pee water, the pee water will not go through the desalinator. It's just gonna break. And then splash down. Is the idea. Maybe we could do one of these actions. Right? It's not gonna be able to get it all. Stupid polluted water. Should we be smart and just throw a filter? A quick, fast, and a hurry filter? Nothing's quick and fast and oxygen not included. Echo, you should know this. I mean, where did that even come from? It must have came from over here when we still had some ice chunks. It's already in the... No! Oh. All right. All right. How did it go through? Unless polluted water passes through? I, I don't... I don't understand. This can be brine and salt water again. 
Oh, apparently we haven't discovered salt water. Highborn J says pea water does go through desalination without breaking. Well, there's your answer. All right, so we need to filter this out again. Yet another filter. We will go straight up like this, and we will only filter out polluted water. So that way we don't have to pay the cost for everything. So polluted water, not like that. This is awkward. There we go. And then... All the nice water will come out here. So the only thing we're filtering around is polluted water because that's the only thing that should be getting in here. The assumption. There's no more possibilities for polluted water to come in. Yeah. I love this little automation system here. Uh, let's not stand on that while you dig that, please. Sheesh, that could have been bad. All right, all we're filtering out is polluted water. Everything else is just going straight through. <gasps> no! Where'd it come from? It comes from the last one first. Okay, what we'll do is this. Where's this one going? What is this pipe? I can't remember what we were using. Oh, this is the old pipe. Okay. All right, we'll break that one there. Oh, I'll just, I'll just do them all. I'm not scared. Okay, chat? But how much you want to bet there's like polluted water right in there? So here's what we're going to do. We'll sit here for an hour. I don't care. Get it done, plumbers. Get it done. Have we still not turned on water? Oh, uh, that's good. We could filter it, but that would be the foolproof way. We don't do wait things like foolproof in here, all right? We're more into a foolhardy sort of state of mind. Uh, you can cancel all those, and you can cancel those. That should be good now. Uh, and quicker. How's the temperature in here, by the way? 18 degrees. Absolutely beautiful. How often does this thermal aqua tuna run? Last five cycles, 12%. This cycle, 0%. <laughs> Please get deep frozen. I know you want to. You're so close. You know, what we could also do is take all... Oh, yeah, let's do this. Automate it all. Oh, uh, that reaches there. Man, this could be much closer. First time chat. Drive-by dad jokes. Today I learned that if you turn a canoe over, you can wear it as a hat because it's capsized. Ah! Oh, thank you, drive-by dad jokes. They can actually still go right here and still fit. Yeah. So we'll go one here. We may even put on a light and extend those, right? Oh, this one actually can go above. Right? Yes, this is perfect. Let's- Oh, no, 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 not gold! 
When did we make a gold auto sweeper? Why would we do that? I think we could actually- Oh, it's close! Yeah, we can share this one right here. Right here? Brilliant. Oh, but that's gonna be off-centered and looking- No. No. Copper. Copper. Ooh, I do see a nice little welcome message from our printing pod inviting us to go see what is up. Not making... When did I build a conveyor chute out of iron ore? That's discerning. Or a conveyor loader out of iron ore. Here we go. Oxalite, Shine Nimpeg. I think we'll just take the Oxalite. I think we're still storing it, right? Oh, and did we... We need to have this back on... Collect them all, right? Yes, we do. Get all the Bleachstone. We're actually running out of space for polluted dirt, so we will add another one. Uh, power? Oh, did we? Because this line here doesn't do a whole lot. Because I'm always worried about overdoing these lines. But it only says 200, 600 watts. So, it's not normally something we have to worry about. Perfect. Perfect. Not perfect. And then some shipping. Hmm. How... I... I don't like running these through the middle, but it's so close. It... It would be silly and wasteful if we didn't. Just go like this, right? I'd rather go out to the center and all that kind of stuff, but this is just... It makes way too much sense. All right. That's going to be picking up all the berries. We're still refrigerated. We're getting closer. We're at minus 16.8. I use the auto pause, the printing pod, when it activates mod. I do have it installed, it's just not, uh, active right now. My goodness. Why won't they drop... ...this Sweetle off? What am I missing? There's too many critters. That's why. They won't even do it now. Because it's over the critter count. It's not in its own room. Because it's sharing the room... ...with these fellas. Of course, if I close that up, they're gonna be very stifled. Uh, which do I care more about? I guess we can do this. Because it actually, once we get the natural... Ooh. We can turn this phosphorite into fertilizer and increase our growth even more using little fertilizer stands. There we go. Get the licking. <laughs> uh, what are you grabbing? You're grabbing bristle berries. Very nice. And I definitely want to stop them from coming in through the top. For some reason, they have a knack of just coming in through the top. Alright. This is good. This is looking good. 
Get a few more Sweetles. Load them up in here. We could put a nice farming station in here. Is it... Oh, it's perfect size! Oh. It's perfect. Can you trap... The Sweetle in its own room, then set it to one to zero critters. Yeah, I suppose you could do that. I'm not trying to ignore you, fangirl. Uh, fertilizer. How much fertilizer do we have before we need to start creating it? Because that's a whole thing. And we don't have... We have seven tons of fertilizer. Which is good. But we don't have everything we need for a, like... Where is it? Refinement? Maybe it's on refinement. Fertilizer synthesizer. Let's just put it... Here for now. Because it gets warm. If it's quicker for them to go through the top door, why force them? Because they need to be civilized. Broken building? Oh no. Why did that break? Oh, because it's bringing up water. Finally, we can mop this, though. And we're overheating? Oh, because that water coming out is too hot. Yep, 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 yep. Good catch. Nope, mop it all. We're mopping it all. Every last little bit. Now it should be fine. If we will deconstruct this. Holy shnikes, it got hot in here! Guess we're making that out of steel. Mop the top of the geyser. Oh, that is water. Touche. Thank you, Clara. Now, nothing else should get in here. So we should be able to bypass this right here. Destroy all this. Yep, and we're going to drop that copper ore and we're never going to be able to get it. For a long, long time. But that should be now set. Brian. Oh, look at this. And we're about to erupt. We didn't even need to make the... I'm taking my steel back. Taking my steel back. We'll build it out of gold. Because this should help it calm down a lot. How are we doing here? Beautiful. You don't have to sweep the bottles, they'll eventually get to it. Uh, okay, here we are. So, to make... Fertilizer. It takes polluted water and phosphorite to produce fertilizer. Oh, that's not bad. And then we could take the natural gas and feed it to the oven. Polluted water. I mean, we are getting some polluted water here. The OCD that's going on in this chat. <laughs> it's still Twitch chat. No, still one tile of water on that geyser. Don't say that, because we'll break every... Where... Where did it come from? Oh, I'm going to have a meltdown. Hurry up, dupes. Okay. All right. Everything is normal in the world. There's no evidence of any other liquids around here. I mean, I'll even mop this up while we're here. The rest doesn't matter. Alright, so I guess we could prioritize the polluted water. Mm. 
Mm, you don't want to prioritize it, but we need a little bit. We could grab it from this over here. We're eventually going to be grabbing it anyways. And bringing it all the way down. Oh, that's a pathetically awkward long, long run. Um... No, there's still one tile. No, there's not. That's just a bottle. Chat. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. We're gonna do this later too. We're gonna do all the things. Oh, we could just use this polluted water for now. Pump that in there, then have the natural gas being siphoned out. Um, does this take duplicate labor to work? So we'd have to put some suits on it. So that's going to be a story for next time. We do have another printing pod. Fingers crossed. Why is the desalinator breaking? Overheating? Probably. We'll get the maintenance crew on it. Supplying and decorating. Uh, but you got to be a Ludite. We don't like Ludites. Digging farming. But no, these are not it. Fertilizer. It doesn't seem to be breaking. This is brine. They'll grab that too eventually. Okay. Alright, chat. I think this is a good enough stopping point. Stick around. We're gonna raid somebody. Don't make it one of those silly half... You know what I want to say. Needs emptying of salt. Yeah. They got to it. We're probably going to let them catch up on tasks for a little while. Because there's a lot of sweep commands and stuff they need to do. In fact, we'll do a giant four of this like this. Oh, yes. Get it. Alright. Um. Yeah. Give some love to mods. Alright. We do have Echo Hearts. Remember, you can unlock emotes. Even though if you're not a... Even though if you're not subbed, you can still unlock emotes by using the Echo Points. Do a quick, uh, like, thank yous. Lex Real with the follow. Grid Stop with the follow. I see Peach, you subscribed for three months. Thank you. Uh, Vertoons. Definite. Both with the follows. Camberis with the... Twitch Prime, Kerthor with the resub, Sell la la meow meow, with the follow. Wow. A Johnson seventy eight with the Twitch Prime. Thank you all. So lucky with the big four gifter. A lot of other renewals here on this new month. That's how it is. Look at all that love and chat. Thank you very much. Zoldan with the new squirrels. I don't think we squirreled much. I didn't see many squirrels. Oh, we need to slow this down before I wreck some dupes. All right, let's go find out who we're going to raid. Uh-oh, no. I have to hit the awkward under the button thing. It's, it's a thing. Look, I'm working on it, all right? Who is on? Oh, no, that was somebody else following. Stand by. Nope. Once again, actually, let's go to oxygen not included. Don't lose faith yet, chat. Don't get all impatient and already go switching streams. We still have to do the credits. We got to do the raid. You know how we have to do. All right, we're going to try somebody with a very cute little emote. We're going to try Doosty Z's. I don't understand. It's fun and casual. That's all I know. 
fun and casual. Let me see if I can spell it correctly here in the little raid menu. Where are we? Where are we? Nope. Raid channel. All right. I'm going to run these uh, things. Make sure we show some love. All right. We need lots of love when we send the raid. I appreciate everyone. Let's kick these credits until Saturday. I'll talk to you soon.